Thank you, Stephen Chaput, for your $25 donation. He's my, he's my okay, so he's my favorite. Uh, my yeah, thing is that my need a Wait, which one is this? I'm not thinking. I need a power. I'll be on the other side. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's my two. I'm going to try real quick. Let me just gauge the Alright, so I need to make some good posture Right, definitely. Okay. Just to make sure you guys didn't do the commentary for the site run here and then separate back in time. Yeah, you don't have to do that. That's not what I Uh what is the oh, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. I turned it on, it didn't do anything, so something's not really good. Okay, we're still on that. Oh, we're not going to use it. We're still going to use the main one here. We have to plug that one into the other one. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Frederick Ramgins, for your $10 donation. Hey guys, my first donation comes with a question. What capture devices do you guys use to get game footage from older consoles like the SNES and the PS1? Looking forward to the rest of this great event. Thank you, and go SCA. Greetings from Germany. Uh, greetings from Germany Comic Chaser. I believe that's the name. Uh, anyone know that uh, offhand what capture devices we tend to use? Dazzle. Dazzle. Dazzle for SCA is a big choice, All right, Dazzle for standard definition. There we go. Thank you, Emilio Pozzetto, for your $5 donation. I don't know, is that plugged in? We are going to go to, the, to commercial real quick. Where's the SNES power plug for that? Is that in? There, uh, there was one laying down. I know, it's this one right here. It's TJP, DJP. Okay, yeah, okay, that one looks fine. Plug that in, see if that. Okay, hand, hand, hit it. Yeah, it lights up good. Okay, um, so where's the connector? Yeah, we just have to make sure that's plugged into the right. That, that's not so no, that pink one with the pink label there, that's the this primary. primary one. This is the primary? Yes. Uh, where do you want okay. to um, that is where, That's only for Super Mario World. Okay, so we need another small board. Can you pull that? that oh, yeah. Pull it. Yeah, pull it out of there. Okay, okay. Where's the lead to I don't know. I don't know. I followed it, and I think it was going in there. I didn't pull it there. Yeah. Wait, is that the street? No, no, no. It's just a side. I think maybe it won't go. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's gonna go into which which of the uh, is it into A or is it? Well, there's only one that says. Oh, oh yeah. 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 We should use the S video. Uh, do we use the S video? Oh, you can. I don't fuck both of Yeah. Let's try the S video and see if it works. All right. Places for Carl. Uh, the S video plug is all messed up. I'm not even gonna think of it. Yeah. Yeah. Just a reminder: we are speeddemosarchive.com. We run games very, very quickly. You could, I guess you could consider us the premier collection of high-quality speedrun videos and knowledge. Hmm? We also have many individuals at speedrunslive.com, which is the go-to place for live races of all your favorite video games, and maybe some you never even heard of. And we are currently doing a charity marathon for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Oh, yeah, the goal is to prevent cancer through research and outreach. Thank you, Emilio Pozzetto, for your $5 donation. Hi, guys. What you're doing is awesome. I've, I have lost three relatives because of, well, cancer. Good luck to everyone. Put this towards any challenge that has the least money on. And that happens to be towards Sonic CD Good Ending. Thank you, Greg McIntyre, for the $20 donation. As a two as a two time cancer survivor and lover of video games, I love what you guys are doing. Keep it up and put this towards whatever Cypher wants. Super Mario RPG is the best Final Fantasy. Not, not too far off. Thank you, Zach Fournette, for your ten dollar donation. Wall Crusher here. Looking forward to another great AGDQ. 
I've lost some relatives to cancer this past year, and another is confirmed to have it. So let's work towards getting rid of that terrible disease. Put this, t this $10 towards Forte in Rockman and Forte. Thank you, Stephen Rigoza, for your $20 donation. Donation towards Dante in Devil May Cry 3. I'd better see some taunting. Crazy, huh? Thank you, Stephen Chaplet, for your $25 donation. Mapler, Nanny and Papa wish you the best of luck in the marathon. Go Yukon. Well, I would like to give a shout out to Maple's family in general because uh, they gave a lot of donations and wished a lot of luck in. Well, the boy did very well in the race, in my opinion. That was a very close race. Yes, it was a very good race. I think we're ready. We're ready. Well, yep, we're good to go. Okay. Yeah, it's it's from new file when I select new file. So, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right. You are about to see a 100% run of Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island, run by Mr. Carl Sagan. And thank you everyone for do who donated towards that 100%. Yeah, thanks guys. You definitely want to see 100%. <laughs> <It's... Okay. laughs> I may have meant such things. Yes. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot of commentary here, me and Trihex. Uh, Carl is real good at talking while he plays, so you'll hear a lot from him as well. But there are certain areas where you just need a lot of concentration. Yeah, and we it's not a good talk. idea. Um, we do have the chat open right now because we found that as like you speedrunners, we just completely lose track of what what questions we had when we were first learning things. So if you have any like basic questions in the chat, we're glad to take them as well. So that thing that I just did right there, that's switching from uh, the control scheme of how you fire eggs. I switched it from patient to hasty. That lets you fire eggs by just tapping the A button quickly and releasing it. Normally you have to push it twice, so you only have to push it once. There. Okay, I'm glad I just got that jump. That was, that was a three. Oh, right. That was a three frame trick. Trick. I'm glad I got that. Whew. Okay, so yeah, this really this this gets really intense right off the bat here. So, one 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 is actually probably one of the hardest uh, levels in the first world, even though it's the first one. We tend to reset it a lot. Off-screen coin shot. Okay, got that. Got all three of those. Okay, so what we're doing in Yoshi's Island, 100%. Every single level has 20 red coins for the most part. Let's just let's just pretend that everyone does. <laughs> uh, for for simplicity, it also has five. Can you guys cover this? Yeah, sure. It's got uh, five flowers and ten yeah. points. Um, so your the goal of 100% is you got to collect all of them for each level, and once you do that, uh, you your score at the end of the level is 100. Now, <laughs> right? You do need all of the you do need all of your health. Oh, yeah. health is full. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so guys, I know that normally there's a there's a gif that is spammed. On uh, in the chat, I have the gift. I will spam it for you. Just spam bonus. All right. The links are a little mush, so we're just gonna spam bonus. I've got the gift ready. And hopefully we're not gonna need to do that. Okay, right. I, uh, hope, go I hope I get to use it at least once. <laughs> I would like to point out that there are three prizes that can be run. That could be won during this uh, race, or er, not race. Just Carl Sagan being Carl Sagan. A Yoshi plushie, a Mario uh, Mario figurines, and a set of five Yoshi coins made by Mr. Tom Felino. And I believe that our good buddy Lee will show off these awesome prizes. Oh, yeah, I love this. So those egg shots there, it just brings me to one of my favorite parts about Yoshi's On, and that is just the amount of amazing things that you can do with Yoshi's eggs. It's one of the things that really makes it such a fun game for me to play. Okay, hold on, I'm going to be not talking again for a second. Real quick here, these are some prizes. we got this cute little Yoshi's... Yoshi uh, plushie. It's really awesome Yoshi throwing an egg perler. Like that is a frame of animation that I love. Oh my god, I want it. It's so good. <laughs> Give it to me! <laughs> yeah. It's almost as good as that. Uh, and, okay. Yeah, yeah. And one last prize from our uh, resident metal master, Tom Felino. We have this awesome case here. And inside are five Yoshi's Island coins. And they say Speed Demos Archive, AGDQ 2013. A nice little memento for you if you win. Right. Also, thank you very much, Shane Stewart, for your $20 donation. Hey guys, last year my uncle lost his testicles due to cancer. 
I encourage you all to check your testicles or significant other's testicles for lumps. Early detection is key. Put this towards Super Mario Bros. 3 100%. Thank you very much, Mr. Stewart. Uh, one three, I love this level. It's got one of the best egg shots at the end of the level, oh, but yeah, it's it also does. just a level that shows off a lot of the technical aspects of this game. If you notice, um, so the key to moving fast. Did you know, sorry, Carl, no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, so the key to moving fast in Yoshi's Island is to avoid slopes. Uh, slopes will slow you down. They slow you down on average, basically. They give you a variable speed, and that variable speed is slower on average than your normal running speed. And, and that's you both, want to be jumping. And that's both up slopes and down slopes. Like, a lot of games, you want to run down slopes because it increases your speed, but that's not the case in your design. You want to pretty much keep jumping over all of them. Yeah, so if you notice, the floor of this level is very uneven, lots of slopes, and then there's not slopes, there's lots of, like, just little walls here or there that you have to jump over. So it's a very precise, very technical level, and it's one of my favorites, I think. If you see him jumping a lot, it's just so to make sure he's always on flat possible. All right, he's going to jump up here, spit the thing, get it, or watch the shot. <laughs> oh, man, Carl. They can't all be winners. All right, there we go. Watch that shot, too. Watch that one, too. The first one and the second one, please. So, um, you might be wondering why I'm spitting an enemy in t uh, at the very end of every level. Um, you also might be noticing that I'm not getting any bonus games. One of the big reasons why a lot of people didn't want to run 100% in this game, or just like one of the reasons that the times were really high for this speedrun, um, was because of the bonus games. At the end of Yoshi's Island, you pretty much have a 50% chance of getting a bonus game, and the bonus games can be pretty long. They can be 10 seconds, they can be as high as 30 seconds long, until uh, many awesome people figured out various ways of actually skipping the bonus stages. Uh, I'm going to talk about exactly what I'm doing again when I get to another level where where I can show it off. Yeah. Which won't be this one, because you can't get bonus stages on fortresses. Thank you, Max Walton, for your $20 donation. Cancer's me. got nothing on the power of science! Yeah, put this towards Super Meat Boy's expert remix levels. Hooray for science? Yes, hooray for science. Thank you, Clay Farah, for the $30 donation. Hello, currently wrapping up MAGFest and relaxing in my room. First time catching this live, so I know what I'll be doing for the rest of the night. You guys are awesome. And if Zero around and knew about cancer, then I'm sure he'd know what he was fighting for! <laughs> Thank you, Clay. Thank you, Dan Daniel Rogers, for the $20 donation. Cancer has touched my friends and family in the past and has recently reared its ugly head once more. What you guys do is incredible. Put this towards the Earthbound stuff. Thank you very okay, much, Daniel hit, Rogers. If I hit this pot off screen, it breaks yeah, instantly. Swag. Normally, you have to push the you normally have to push the pot all the way off the edge in order to get the key out of it. Yeah. But for some reason, if an egg hits it off screen, it's kind of back to what I was saying about cool things that eggs can do in this game. And when the pot breaks and the key flies out, normally it'll fly in the opposite direction because it flies in the direction opposite of where Yoshi is facing or towards where Yoshi is facing. So when Yoshi, so when he hits the pot, he'll actually turn around. So the key flies towards them, which saves a few seconds as well. Get a big tongue of that mini bird. Mm, that, face. that big tongue. Okay, this the bosses in Yoshi's Island, I think, really set it far away from other from bosses in other games of its time. I don't know if you guys agree with me. But, oh, no, definitely. Yeah, yeah okay, like a very inventive boss. No other bosses. Like, you know, I mean I love off. I love Super Mario World, the original game. Uh, at, but you know, the bosses are just like you're killing the exact same thing every single time. Uh, whereas pretty much every in fact, every single boss... Okay, gotta be careful! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so he does want to be really careful here. There's, it's very difficult to make I need to stars. get an. I need to get an egg. Woo! <laughs> it's very get away from me, Bird! Get away from stars me! stars on a boss level, or on Two, a boss fight, three. so... Oh! We're good. <laughs> okay. We're good, he might come back at me. Okay. Yeah, um, this boss is very, very strange in the fact that he generates so much lag in this game. Yeah, he's one of the la it's one of, normally this game well, yeah, this game doesn't have very many parts in it that lag, but this boss fight lags really you bad. Lie. Hmm. It, it, it really doesn't. I mean, yeah, it's not. You liar. Dude, I lag in tons of <laughs> It's I mean, it's only a handful of levels. Okay, anyway, one thing I just want to mention, we just knocked that boss's name is Bert the Bashful. You know, he's bashful. We just knocked his pants off with eggs and he got and he turned red and flew away. That's right. Nintendo. Nintendo. Such a nice guy. He just pants off literally. Thank you, Matthew Crocker, for your $10 donation. Cancer took both my mom's parents and my dad's dad. Screw you, Cancer. Shout out to Something Awful and please put this towards Bone Mom for Dagger and FF9. I'm really good at that you made him get so embarrassed he exploded. So, Carl, <laughs> tell me how much this is your favorite level. 
<laughs> yeah, this is, you know, you know, as speedrunners, you don't normally like to play auto scrolls, and this, you know, levels where you can't actually do anything to increase the speed of. But we try to have fun in them anyway. It's great for marathons, though. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, Carl loves the swag. And auto scroller gives him so much time to just show off. My favorite is the the chicken one. It's coming up. Okay, so there is actually some speedrun strats. Though, even though this is an auto scroller, there are some speedrun strats. Uh, Normally, uh, in order to get full stars for this level, okay, he's got two stars there. Uh, we need to talk about what eggs do, by the way. Uh, so normally, in order to get full stars in this level, you have to go through a save ring, and that save ring gives you ten stars. The problem with the save ring is, in addition to giving you ten stars, it also lags the game. For, it freezes the game for a couple seconds. So if you can avoid getting the stars that you need, Okay, from the save ring, then uh, you don't have to get it, and you can save time that way. The way that we do that is by using red eggs. Can someone explain what all the eggs do? Yeah. So there, there are three colors of eggs. There's green, yellow, and, and red. You'll never see Carl shoot the yellow ones. Green is just a normal egg that you pick up from your eating enemies. Red eggs, when you shoot them at something, they give you two stars. Yellow eggs, I believe, give you coins, which yes. don't do anything for helping with your score. So that's the saving that he's gonna. That's right the there. saving that we're So when you when you see him throw eggs around, it's not for the the swag effect. That's actually because he needs to get. It's extra also stars. for that. It's, it's also for swag. Also for that. It's all for the swag. Let's not. It's also for that. Yeah. Let's not kid ourselves here. Well, it's for the swag, but also because when it bounces off the walls, it'll change colors. Yeah. Um, yeah. He actually did something really cool like earlier uh, while he was on the the donut platforms. Because donut platforms, they like they shift and they fall. They have these really weird properties. So if you saw it, he threw an egg, so it turned yellow, and then it actually hooked itself on the donut platform to turn red, and just, like flew straight back into it. Which is so, in case anybody missed that, the way that you make red eggs is by ricocheting them off walls. So I purposely ricochet eggs off walls multiple times. Like just one ricochet only makes a yellow egg, and yellow eggs are useless. So you need to do multiple ricochets if you want those sweet, sweet red eggs. Yeah. This is a really weird bonus skip. Um, if yeah. You like to make, yeah, I'm just gonna flutter into the goal ring. Normally, if you just hold forward, you get the bonus. But if you if you flutter on the edge of the screen, it, Yoshi's momentum carries him into the goal, uh, and it actually skips the bonus if you don't hold down forward. Which is really weird because you're still doing really the same speed as the auto scroller screen, no matter what you do. It looks exactly because... the same. The only difference is you're either holding forward or not yeah. against the edge of the screen. Thank you, Nathan York, for your thirty dollar donation. Good job speedrunning. Thirty to Super Mario RPG. Save named Jim. <laughs> Hopefully you never. <laughs> Hopefully you don't ever get a chance to use it. Like yeah. Typed yeah. in your chat bar and you're just waiting to enter. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna pester Carl to Baxter in four one. Frankie Z Yolo. Okay. Yes. <laughs> then maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here, here he, you see that he has a flashing red egg, and now the, oh, there, okay, we'll talk about that, frame. yeah, frame, we'll talk about that afterwards. Uh, these flashing red eggs, once you use them and you hit something, you get a red coin from them. That's really important because, uh, sorry, I couldn't hear it. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's really important because you have to, um, it's the only way to get that particular red coin. Should I check out the shot? Up shot. Oh, the upshot? Oh, the upshot? So good. Yeah. Alright, so if you miss that shot, that lost that lost and it just like flies off screen, you have no way of 100%ing that level anymore. Yeah, there are, let's, let's use that as a, that's a good segue to talk about some of the more punishing aspects of this run. Uh, 100%. Uh, can really be kind of frustrating because if you miss even one thing, it's not 100%. So shy guys can fly off screen. Uh, due to the due to the limitations of the SNES, sometimes things don't load uh, just because there are too many sprites, like things like red coins, enemy stars. That's that sort might of be stuff why there's not that much lag in this game because they're just like, nope, not gonna load it anymore. That's fine. <laughs> Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, so that's probably why they did it, was to avoid lag, but yeah. the, the, the downside is you need to collect these things in order to get 100%, and so if they don't load, how are you going to collect them? <laughs> and later on, there's another level that is truly uh, yeah. terrifying. Yeah, infamous for that. Yeah. The monkeys. The monkeys. You're going to explain the fight. Uh, the, the, the fight. The fight. Oh, right, right, so earlier right, we, we, we said frame perfect because he did a frame perfect pipe glitch, and to do that, you press down and jump at the same frame. So Yoshi actually jumps, but he also goes down the pipe at the same time. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, let's go ahead yeah. And say that. Once again, this is, these are the things that we forget as speedrunners. Um, so a frame is one sixtieth of a second uh, for, this, for game. this game, anyways. Yeah. Uh, this game runs 60 frames per second, so one of these frames is 1 60th of a second. He has to hit down and jump on that very same frame, like at the same frame at the same time, 
in order for this thing to activate. So what he does is he jumps and he goes down the pipe at the same time. Normally there's a going down a pipe animation. We skip that and said save 30 frames, which is 30. It just makes the second, yeah, it, ma it makes that like little transition animation just play a little bit faster. I'm not sure why though. All right, this is everybody's favorite level. Uh, touch fuzzy, get dizzy. In case, <laughs> in case, yeah, or not everybody's favorite level is the case maybe. Uh, this this game is uh, I think pretty famous for some of its more interesting. <laughs> well, it also has like some really interesting um, uses. I think I think it's for the Super FX chip that it has. Yes. Uh, to do some pretty interesting things, and I think one of them is the fuzzy effect. Oh, oh we're talking. Oh. <laughs> A note about the fuzzies that you'll notice. Look at that. Yoshi's eyes. Oh yeah. Oh, Look at that egg throwing animation. It's so yeah, good. It's so good. A, a note about the fuzzies that you'll notice that the, the floor waves. Oh, yeah. And that yeah. also is bad because the floor is no yeah. longer flat it's, and he can't run. It's, it's not bad. too bad yet. Wait until we get to 4 1 and then yeah, 4 you can 1 actually is, clip through the floor. is dangerous. That's nice. Got all the backup strats. Yeah, all of them. Well, okay, <laughs> if we can, then, that, then watch, I'm not going to. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. Um, so this is pretty cool. If you jump and push up, you can scroll the screen really high. Yeah, Hold on, I need to okay. hear that last one. I didn't get it. You didn't, uh, didn't hear it. There okay, got it. So yeah, if if you just look, if you hold up, you can look up. Um, but if while you're looking up, you also jump. The screen scrolls extra high, and you can use that to see places that you normally wouldn't be able to see in the game. Uh, so I was and able to see those. It also loads it earlier too. It also loads it. Yeah. So those red coins, you can't normally shoot them from down low like that unless you do that jump hold up thing that I just mentioned. And that bonus skip just now, that was a really easy one, really cool one. Literally, as you go down the pipe, when you're coming out, you just hold right and flutter. You just hold right and jump, and it'll do everything for you. You, It sets it up perfectly. You slow down just enough to skip it. Shoutouts to Blecky, on the great Blecky for those skip. skips. Blecky's Blecky skip. Thank you, Michael Sweeto, for your $30 donation. Second time watching AGDQ, first time donating. Awesome marathon, awesome cause. Please put $15 towards oh, Dark Souls X Bosses. Super <laughs> And $15 towards v v v 100%. Oh, Great Kirby race, looking forward to the rest of the week. Okay, I can do a pretty cool trick here. If I should, okay, yeah. So if I go under this waterfall, it makes me flutter even higher, and you can use that to access this location a little earlier. Yeah, only, yeah so it's really weird. Sense. You only go higher when you're coming up, but you have to be under the waterfall. So the waterfall is pushing you down, and somehow you get more Yeah, somehow you gain more height. I don't even understand. It's like counterintuitive. It makes no sense. You still have to bounce off the shy guy, and you can get high over there. Yes, exactly. because you need all of the extra height from a boosted no. enemy. Yeah, or, jumping on enemies gives you more height yeah. per, per your jump right. than if you were to just jump in the air. Yeah, when Yoshi does his normal flutter animation, you gain a little bit of height, but not very much. But after bouncing on an enemy, you gain substantially more height. So you can use that in many, many different places in this game to skip stuff. Which you've already done. Can yeah, which I've already done several times. Yeah. Can't you also, like, if you get a really big jump after one of those jumps, kind of store that and get another high jump? Yeah, uh, but that's not used in this yeah. game. That's not used in every And it's not another high jump, because you get the high jump again. Like, yeah. You can't get it the first time, though. Um, here is another boss coming up. This one's more cute instead of just like, yeah. why are you knocking this guy's pants off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which was still funny. Come on. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, but this boss, uh, we used to be really good at it, and as we've been practicing, somehow it sort of slipped our <laughs> our repertoire of cool and quick <laughs> boss kills. So let's see how far it goes in this one. So ideally, I want to kill him in five egg shots. Yep. Two horizontal, uh, he goes in a rolling roll, two more horizontal, and then one vertical. But I don't do the vertical on 100% oh, due to getting hit. You, you might get hit, yeah. yeah. So when you hit this boss, he's a big slime. When you hit him with eggs, a lot of small slimes pop off of him. I need to be really careful that I don't get hit by any of those because uh, if I do, then I have to replay this entire level from the last save ring, which is obviously horrible, which just goes back to what I was talking about, about how, okay, got it, nice. about how punishing that this nice. run can be. A lot of the time, if you get hit even once, you have to either replay the whole level or replay a large portion of the level. That was actually faster than the two horizontal on one vertical jump uh, kill right there. Normally, the vertical jump kill right around the that lantern that mm -hmm. just went off screen there. So I know it is just World 1, but that was probably one of the best World 1s I've ever had. So yeah, I, that was I, really good. just under 18 minutes, if that helps. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's, I mean, that's on track for World Record. You know, I don't want to... He doesn't want to say anything. I'm obviously not getting my hopes up 18 minutes into a... Into, into a, a three, two and a half hour In a nearly three hour run, yeah. but... 
<laughs> yes, but it's perfect, you know. That's the game perfect. is telling you that your run was perfect. This is a good point to explain the other part of 100%. The bonus level that just showed up, you can only unlock when you get 100% on all the other yes, levels. The, of the the one one e yeah, those, those e are called levels. the extra levels. Yeah, so the next level I'll be playing is 1E e or extra for, one. Uh, extra trolley. Yeah. <laughs> extra bats. Uh, this level is called, the next level coming up is called Poochie Ain't Stupid, and I think it's one of the biggest lies that Nintendo has ever told. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, how often does Poochie do what you want him to do? Basically never. Yeah. <laughs> um, There's well, actually a pretty cool thing about this level though. Normally it's an auto-scroller, and you have to ride around on this dog, and you ride the dog over lava, and you pretty much just die a whole bunch, especially when you're, when you're new at this. Uh, so you're going to notice, I'm going to kind of sit here, and it looks probably kind of weird, but what I'm doing is I'm getting on top of these bats, and I'm using these bats to flutter higher and higher up at the start of the level without ever triggering the auto-scroll. If I walk forward, it starts, the screen starts auto-scrolling, uh, and you have to play the level at an auto-scroll pace. But if you do it like this, you can actually go over the top of the auto-scroll trigger, which skips the auto-scroll, and it's like an entire minute faster than the other way. Yeah, now you might be wondering, you know, how is he staying midair waiting for the bats like that? So this is a good time to talk about flutter mechanics and how you hover and even gain height. So, Yoshi's flutter, normally, if you flutter and you, if you just hold it down, jump, he'll jump and then he'll do the flutter, and then if you press Get it again... Get away from me, Poochie, I don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> and when you, hold, when you hit he jump again, you. he'll flutter. Now, there, oh, nice. for a very short period of time, a very small window, you can hit the flutter button, and if you hit it precisely enough with the right timing, you can actually keep the same height or gain height, and that's how we're staying or maintaining that hover. Um, it's like you know four frames for. It's really height. precise. Yeah, and then it's like two to three frames, and the window moves. Yeah. So. All right. Thank you very much, David Betancourt, for your five dollar donation. Is this Butters BB reading donations? How come you're not running a game if it is you? Well, I was cut from the schedule, but with the, advocate of, with the advent of bonus streaming, you never know. It's worth noting that you don't actually need to be on a schedule to be here, and there are many individuals here that aren't, but are still here to support the, a very good cause. And also, I think this is a good time for a roll call. So, can we start with can the people I explain on the couch? One thing, wait, let me just explain one thing really fast, if you don't mind. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm touching that pipe to line up my position, and I just got a one-frame egg shot. Uh, <laughs> wow, that was, I, I was... Okay. Okay. So... So I was expecting to have a lot of time to talk about it because I wasn't <laughs> expecting to get it. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, okay, about yeah. that. Um, also, real quick, someone in the chat asked how the one uh, E bonus skip work. It's really cool, actually, because Kuchi, not only is he trolley, he also breaks bonus games. If you have him in a level and you have a bonus at the same time, so Nintendo just said, let's just not have a bonus in that level. Yeah, it's literally yeah. impossible to get a bonus yeah, game on one E. It's really the only, it's the only level okay, like that. Okay. Call real quick. Yo. Oh, what me? The? Yeah. Well, try hex you already know. Um, Yoshi <laughs> Island. And, um, <laughs> Swag, uh. Swag Master Extraordinary. There you go. Uh, this is Zach SK. Oh, we're oh! dead! Oh! Oh! You get the one frame link! Try hard frame frizzy. Try hard frame frizzy. Yo, you know what? That's not a bonus, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this down here. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is that? What is that gift luckily, I just got a save ring, so of all the places to die, that was a pretty good one. Alright, well then. <laughs> I was gonna do it, it took it for collecting all the coins. Yeah. Um, so this is one of the dangers of playing games with lots of auto-scrollers. This is yeah, a vertical you... auto- Nope! What are you doing? Try Hex Part 2. I'm trying hard right now. I love it. This I is the it. swagging. Yeah, so um, when we're bored, we tend to do things like this that have a risk of us dying. <laughs> and can we have neither Carl nor Try have any... I love it. So, Mr. Swaggin, I believe you were next. Uh, yeah, next week, um, roll call. I am, I am, quote, Carl Sagan and or, I mean, that's just the dude's name, so yeah, my name's Andy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to... Oh, I need those stars. Oh, okay, so uh, it's okay. okay. We, we can make stars. more stars, remember, we, we can make You can always eggs. make stars of E. Yeah, yeah we can I got, have those. Um, I, got, I got the, the backup strats right there. Uh, I got, I got the crate strats. My real name is Lee, too, so that's, that's really helpful. <laughs> Lee, yeah. SDA, Lee, SRL. Okay, so I'm gonna. I normally don't want to get this crate, but since I missed some stars there, I'm gonna have to. Yep. That's okay though. Okay. So Anyone I'm. Anyone else that can? I can see. I'm a junior. Hello. I'm hey. real cool. Hi. I'm running Starcraft later. Uh, I'm okay. I'm uh, Omega Galax. Cyberbuttocks. Mirrored. 
Curry Master. Papa. Ezra. Ivan GS. Golden. All right, thank you very much, everyone. Um, yeah, um, so the way that we're skipping these bonus stages at the end of the level, uh, there's this interesting way that the um, that middle ring at the end of the uh, levels works. Um, if you run at full speed into the ring, it always lands on the same spot. The like, I love that tunnel. The like huge, the huge disappointment is that that spot is always a bonus game. <laughs> so it's really easy to get 100% of the bonus game. Whoops. But that's definitely not what we want to be doing. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait a second before I can. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. Well, maybe um, I'll just take this instead. Oh no! The stock of shame. That's fine. The bean stock. Um. Actually, I think we should explain how making eggs works first. Oh yeah, let's that do would, that. That would definitely help in explaining how we're skipping bonus or how yeah, we're skipping bonus. Yeah, let's do that first. Um, so when we make eggs, if you normally just run on the ground, you hit down to make an egg. But if you do that and you're on the ground, Yoshi actually comes to a complete stop first, and then he like poops the egg out, and then you go on normally. On the other hand, if you jump into the air, hit down without pressing any other inputs. Like, in other words, don't hold forward to go forward, like, yeah. you, like you would expect. Yeah, you just like jump, like of everything, hit down for one frame, on only one frame, he'll make an egg without uh, any sort of loss in horizontal velocity. So, what does that mean for bonus skips? Well, if you notice... Um, well, let's have a, also talking about... Uh, it also works, so whenever Yoshi tongues in the air, like I just did right there, um, if you release, if you don't hold down any directions, you don't slow down. Like normally, if you just tongue in the middle of the air, like when I'm grabbing these enemies or anything like that, um, it's going to slow Yoshi down if you're holding down forward at the same time. So every single time I make an egg from an enemy or use Yoshi's tongue, you have to release the D-pad completely or it slows Yoshi down. Uh, but we can actually use that slow down, hold on, these egg shots are pretty cool. Let's just, let me concentrate on this real quick. See if I can get this off screen shot right here. Didn't, okay, I didn't get it. There we go. Okay, so, uh, we're talking about bonus tips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're using that slowdown from. Yeah, we're using the slowdown from spitting the thing, right? So, you slow down just enough right before the you hit the goal ring. Here's some more mole troll. Um, you yeah, slow down just enough right before you hit the goal ring so that the game will advance the uh, the bonus indicator one more section or one more uh, little pit. So normally, you don't want to hold down the D-pad when you're making eggs or spitting out enemies or using Yoshi's tongue or anything like that. We kind of use it to our advantage for the bonus games, though, because we need to slow down, remember, because if you run full speed... Okay, I need to, sorry, I needed to hear that sound. If you run full speed into the bonus mid-ring at the end, then you get a bonus stage, which is bad, and loses lots of time. Yeah, it's really a shame that this game... Wait, shot? Yeah! Yes. Yes. yeah. Um, yeah, it's really a shame that this this game has so many off-screen shots. Yeah, like that we have to like that one hear. right there. <laughs> yeah, because they look so cool, but you just never you see never them. You never see them. And this is a really weird shot. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Shout out. If you, if you, sometimes you hear the beep. Shout out to the holding right here. This no, is that's the holding right. Yeah, that bonus <laughs> skip literally just hold right. No even skip required or anything like that. You just hold right and you jump and you're in. That's the, you run up the slope right yeah, it's yes. because you're running up the slope at the end there. For some reason, uh, I think it's because of the the goal ring um, is off screen vertically rather than horizontally because you're coming from below, um, and so uh, it just loads in at the right time to not have to do a normal bonus skip. Yeah, because um, of the vertical. Those control. are our favorite bonus skips, the terrain ones, because we don't have to do anything. We just have to hold right or like hold jump or do something like that, which is really easy. And there is like zero chances of actually messing it up, which is fantastic. Yeah, it would be <laughs> nice if is real nice. it would be nice if you could have one of those for every level, but unfortunately oh, we no. can't. There are We've a few levels that yet, we anyway. actually have no way of really. Which is the one that do that crazy jump Um, I don't think we have to do a crazy ground pound anymore. Like that's that's why we have the evening skip now is because. Uh, five, six months ago, we had these crazy strats for bonus avoidance, like double ground pound, backwards tongue, all sorts of crazy stuff. And then we were like, wait, we can just spit a dude, like, right before the gold ring, and that's it. <laughs> um, our, our good friend in Hash Yoshi Z-Wing discovered it, which is why it's called the Z-Wing Skip. Want some of these stars. Yes, we want all of these stars. They are delicious. And so, they... Mario. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, so you're supposed you to skip, skip that. that. You're supposed to skip that, but you only lose like a second or two. I, I actually don't lose any time. I just lose eggs. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh. You get down here faster. I mean, because being Mario's faster. That's true. That's true. I didn't hear it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. 
But it, yeah, as you can see, he's, he's shooting a lot of eggs. So beyond the normal rounds, you might consider their egg rounds, making sure he gets the right number of eggs for the right number of missions. Exactly. Yeah. So what you would miss there is just normally being able to make some eggs along the way. And we think that they have a lot of the egg routes finalized, but there are still definitely plenty of places where they Okay. Yeah! I, so when you get the final red coin of any level, it makes a special sound. I need to hear that to make sure that I haven't missed anything. I do the same with flowers, too. Yeah, the flowers give you a one-up, so it gives you a, it plays the one-up sound. Uh, he also wanted to show off how cute his face was, so that's why I'm trying, I'm just making sure I can hear it. So a lot of the stuff in this game happens off-screen, uh, and the only way for me to know whether I got it or not is to listen for the sound, so... It's yeah. it, it's very heavily based on the sound. Would it help to turn off the sound a little bit? Or no, it's it, I think it's gonna be okay. Are you okay? okay? It's just when a lot of people are talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. that's a similar terrain skip right there. Okay, good. <laughs> that was it's close. always it's always scary for a second. It's a similar terrain skip right there because he was running down the slope. Uh, if you start at a certain position, you run and you run down the slope. You're slow. You're just slow enough that it loads perfectly. Yeah, like remember what we said. Normally, uh, you want to avoid running down slopes because it slows you down. But because running full speed results in a bonus game, you actually use it to our advantage there to slow down just enough to miss the bonus stage. Thank you, anonymous. <laughs> Greetings from Asia. Put this towards Octodad, the father I never had. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Daniel Moore, for your $10 donation. Awesome job. Great to have gamers for a good cause. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Matthew Pizzik, for your $200 donation. Oh hey, guys. The marathon is awesome as always, and I'm confident that the goal will be shattered. I work this week and will miss a lot of it, but my, put, but put my money towards naming the start in Pokemon Gold Baku Haku and so two females. I'm trying symbols. to do a trick right here to open that gate backwards. Normally, those gates are one way. You can't go in the way that I just went in. Uh, however, if you shoot an egg at the... Someone else, can someone else get real quick? Okay. If you shoot an egg, Wait, I'm gonna take it out of my mouth. Oh! Oh no! Yeah! yeah. Alright, alright, good. Um, okay, so here's a good time to talk about Perfect Flutter's Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, damage buffers. Yeah. Yeah. Good damage coach, die hacks, we're good. <laughs> uh, this is a good time to talk about gate hacks and, uh, Perfect Flutter is here. Uh, did you talk about the attack? I didn't quite mention the full. Okay. He's freaking out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was scared. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought we were starting talking about it. And, okay. So basically, what happens is when Yoshi jumps into a gate the wrong way, normally the gate will sort of just like bounce and you just bounce back off of the gate. Instead, what we do is if we hold up to look up, jump into the gate, and throw the egg at like the peak of our height, the egg that we throw, you, uh, you saw how he did that other. Uh, Trick to open the gate, right? Like the egg sprite, even though it was dying, it. We never, we never really got a good explanation. We never really, yeah, okay. Yeah, because things are moving a little too fast. Yeah, things. Oh, that's that's, that's a speed run. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, this is the frame. That's, yeah, that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, um, it's not frame. Per it's not. It's, it's like not. Four it's, frames per. Yeah, it, it's a little. So, bit. so the developers put a lot of areas in the game that are just barely out of your reach, just to kind of tantalize you, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the and they, I guess they didn't uh, intend for the fact that you can actually gain a little bit of height by using Yoshi's flutters. Did you explain how to do it yet? Uh, sort of. I just said that, you know, yeah, just like that. You, you can you can definitely gain height, or at least keep the same height, and they never intended for that to happen. They intended that each time you flutter, if you just hold it down, you actually lose, like, a few pixels of height. Um, so if you do it perfectly, you can, or semi-perfectly, you can actually get high enough to make it over some of these ledges. Now, about the gate hack that we were talking about earlier, um, when you throw the egg, Basically, the egg eggs. sort of clips itself into the gate, and then the game suddenly thinks, "Oh wait, the egg is coming from the other direction." So the gate opens up for you, and you can just run right through. Which yeah, is it really useful. Yeah, it thinks that Yoshi's coming from the other direction because the egg came from that direction. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much, Pat Matthew Pizik, for the two hundred dollar donation. He wants to name the starter in Pokemon Gold Baku Haku with two female symbols, and apparently, fellow Grumps in the audience will get it. Thank you, Christian Ader, for your $15 donation. Please put this towards Zelda, Ocarina of Time, file name being awesome. Thank you for the $20 donation, Corodius. I'd like to add this to Sonic 2 Blindfold. Thank you, Alex Borland, for your $15 donation. Love the idea. Keep up the good work, and I hope you reach your goal. That was scary. Oh! <laughs> nice that's, that's a great nice frame. Pose. <laughs> The most useless one frame trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, so Yoshi, like, this game is beautifully animated. Like, the art style, oh, yeah, even to amazing. this day, is just fantastic. 
and it's because Yoshi has so many frames of animation. Like, there are all these frames of animation that you just never see unless you can get it on the perfect freeze frame. So we try to show those off during any of the boss freezes or anything like that. Of course, it's awesome for many other reasons as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, just, just the art style is fantastic. Yeah. It looks great and even today. It looks today. so smooth. Just, so dial a key to Um, oh. we will see. We will see. Okay, wait till we get there. Yes, we, we're not gonna show, or we're not gonna reveal our cards yet. <laughs> but uh, what you did see just now at the end of that boss fight was a portion of the ground pound animation, which has like, what, uh, 18 frames or something? I, I'm not sure. Like, it's, like, a, like, it's a large number. A large individual amount of, uh, of detailed animations. Mm -hmm. That was just one of them. Yeah. A fun fact of the game is that it's known for the transformations you transform Yoshi into. And there's, there's actually a couple that got cut. One of my favorite ones is that one of the cut animations, the cut transformations, turns you into a tree. <laughs> or I think there's another one, the mushroom. Before, oh, wait, you do up there? Okay. No, I, I, did, okay. I did it wrong. Okay, so I turned the train around right there um, because it adjusts the position of the screen when you come into this area here. Normally, those two enemies, the white, thing, white little shy guys walking around, they hit the train. Uh, so you can't take this path. This is the fastest path through this track, but you can't take it normally because the enemies are standing in the way. Uh, when you turn the train around like that, <laughs> it actually causes this, this, them to load differently, which allows you to go through the train area, taking the fastest path. It also is pretty swag. Yes. It's also pretty swag. <laughs> Thank you, John Carlock, for your $30 donation. Thanks for organizing this. Hopefully the donation is in time for the Kirby plushie yeah. drawing. Had computer trouble. Yeah, it probably was, thanks. And the reader can put this toward whatever he or she pleases. Let's kick the crap out of cancer. Well, the reader's name is Buzz BB, and he needs more Die Hard in his life. <laughs> we all do. I concur. Yes. The donations I concur. When you set the donation, yes. when we read them. So yes, it, it is. Indeed, it is sent by when you donate, not necessarily when the comic is read. So one of the, the reasons the game is harsh is that there's a shy guy here that can easily escape Carl's ability to get him. We got, we, 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 we got, got him. Though. We got we him. Got him. And there's another Z. You see, if you saw that, he jumped. <laughs> He spit out the shy guy, which turned into a coin like almost instantly as soon as he hit the gold ring. Well, this is technically a Mario game, and we have Andrew Gardakis with a $30 donation. <laughs> hey, Andrew! Hey, Andrew G! Yeah. Yes. Hey, guys, I'm sad I couldn't make it this year, but I'm watching and supporting everyone. Awesome games done by awesome runners. Keep up the great work, fellow speedrunners. Yeah, no definitely. pressure, but we just hit 19. Uh, viewers or donors? Viewers. viewers. What's the donation total? Uh, it's a, ah. I think it might be over 20k now. Sure. Alrighty. You guys are awesome. Huge shout out to all Keep on donating, viewers. Keep on watching. Keep on running. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, all those viewers, I think it's worth reiterating, it's worth reiterating, viewers, I it's worth reiterating that we are, in fact, Speed Demos Archive, the premier source for uh, world record runs of lots and lots of video games. <laughs> 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 But no, it's a very good site for watching speedruns of many different types of games. Also, we have many runs, runners from uh, speedrunslive.com, which is your premier source for races of many different types of games. And we are, of course, supporting the Prevent Cancer Foundation, which is dedicated to the prevention of cancer through research, education, community outreach, and advocacy. Okay, if this works, this is my, probably my favorite egg shot in the game. Wait, wait. Huh, uh, uh, uh. Oh! <laughs> and that's that's pure swag. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pure optimization, which is why it's so awesome. It's because like the shots have to line up perfectly to hit things in the right order. Okay, good. That was a yeah. cool moment right there. Sometimes it's supposed to happen automatically, but sometimes the game just decides, no, you're not gonna you're not gonna get it. Yeah, you're, you're not gonna get that flower. <laughs> well, do you want to explain what happened? Because it happened pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, um, you want to explain what over? Okay. Well, Carl was like, there was some blue foam beneath where uh, Yoshi was standing, and Carl fired at three red red coins, like almost off screen, because the screen was panning as he did the shots. He was practically blind, and he broke the foam, or the the egg was ricocheting from like three screen fools. But I can't even explain. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he got some coins. He broke some foam, he oh hit my God, I got all shot. sorts of stuff with just one egg shot, and he ground pound at the same time, so like he didn't, he hit the ground pound button beforehand, so he basically he made like a blind faith effort, or he made, he made a blind faith shot, and then ground pound immediately to enter the door at the fastest possible time, which is, it's really cool. Right. And Thank then, you, Patrick and then Sexton, for your $10 donation. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Be cancer like you beat games. You guys have a great cause, and I'm glad this marathon is back for another year. Alright, go ahead. 
Oh, never mind. Yeah, I didn't have anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Thomas Johansson, for your five dollar donation. Here's a rhyme from the Carabeter. Not. Oh, whatever. Shout outs to Yoshi. Hashtag <laughs> Yoshi. Shout outs to the RC channel, Yoshi. Um, this is an interesting level because, okay, Yoshi's Island has tons of enemies that only appear in one level or only appear in a very limited number of levels. Uh, and this level has those fat shy guys, which. Oh, uh, maybe I should explain nice this flag. other thing that I'm doing. <laughs> so I just duplicated a red, red coin. You can only do that on certain areas that have flying shy guys carrying red coins. Um, normally on this level there's this giant pole, like these poles that I'm ground pounding right now, that you have to ground pound literally, oops, literally like 10, 15 times. Yeah, so, this one is the longest one. Uh, the one in this level is the longest one, yeah. Yeah, it takes some time to duplicate a red coin, so we, we don't do it in very many levels, uh, because there aren't very many places to do it, uh, and it also takes time, so it's not always worth it, but this is a level where it is used. I love these fat shy guys, and you get these big fat eggs. Yeah, Chin foot! <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Nice. When you throw the, the fat egg, it causes all the enemies on screen to turn into stars, which yes. is another useful way to skip the uh, star ranks. That's very useful. Um, Carl doesn't actually chin foot. I definitely, yeah, that was fake. <laughs> Live the dream. Live the dream. Uh, that was nice. Thank you, Douglas Lolly, for your $15 donation. Hey guys, thanks for doing this again. Watching my father suffer through cancer was the hardest thing I've had to do in my life. He was one of the lucky ones and is still with us today. Please put $5 towards the Yoshi plush and the other 10 to whatever the donation comment announcer wants. Did I ever mention that I really like Die Hard? <laughs> <laughs> How much? Yeah. So if you, see, if you saw oh. that like really long pole, there's another pole on the other side. And at the very bottom of that pole is where the other red coin would be yeah. if you don't do it. Uh, yeah, Carl Sagan, like did you know you have 20,000 people watching you right now? <laughs> 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 Alright. Thank you, Cursey Resh, for your ten dollar donation. All right, right there we go. Yeah. So right there, there's another audio cue there. So every time you get five flowers, all five flowers on the stage or on the level, you gain a life. So that's what we listen to for the audio cue, the, the one up audio cue. You'll notice here he's skipping the car because it's faster to. Yeah, the, you normally are a car, but we can just oh, use these okay. big eggs to get through these guys. And then, uh, okay. So broken, but yeah. And then, oh, 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 no. oh, 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 that's good enough. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Boom! Oh. <laughs> can you actually fax it? Uh, you, can, you have yeah, to. Yeah, waste time. yeah, you have to set with it up. The bonus right. uh, My apologies. Oh, what I meant to say is, we actually have over twenty thousand in donations already. Oh. We only oh. have a measly nineteen thousand in viewers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. You so you need to get a thousand more friends in here to make fun of how to liar, really. Yes. So Please yes. don't make me into a house of lies. So there's. So, this game is second on Twitch for total viewers. There's four other people streaming it, but I, they've only got about <laughs> viewers all together. <laughs> there we go. One more. We're coming for you, League of Legends. Perfect. That big egg juggle that Carl did uh, until recently, even Drax didn't know you could do that. Yeah, so yeah. until I think like yesterday. <laughs> yeah, until yesterday. Pretty much. So yeah, I have pretty much just practiced that like in the room beforehand. So. Yeah, not actually running the game, but just you know the just the, the showing yeah, he's off. He's practicing the very important strats, the swag strats yeah. before the run. Um, most important. I don't know if you guys know this, but Trihex is sort of known for his swag. And anyone who learned Yoshi's Island from him sort of picked that up a little bit. So we're all a fan of sort of showing off at possibly great expense. Yes, <laughs> it's the greatest expense. We, we, have, really. we have phrases for, for not doing the swag more yeah, than we have we, doing it. Right. The, the hey. motto for, uh, for Team Yoshi is save frames, lose seconds. I got it. All right. uh, thank you again, Chris. <laughs> So yeah, transformation is really, really, really awesome. bad. Uh, if only you were that tree. Uh, thank I you again, Chrissy Rush, for the $10 donation. Down. Hey guys, really looking forward to a great week of speedruns. This donation is for the Yoshi's Island crew on screen. Bring on the great commentary, Lee. Good luck, Carl. And Hex men represent. <laughs> Try hard. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Something really, really cool, though, about speedrun Yoshi's Island is that uh, unlike a lot of other games, like... Aesthetically, you can really easily tell who's playing the game based on how 
spastic Yoshi really is. Like, when I'm playing, you usually know when it's me. And when Carl's playing, you can tell when it's him how he plays. Yeah. The, the game just has so much depth and complexity to it. It makes it very interesting. So you're saying when Yoshi's running backwards about 70% of the time, we can tell it's you, Trihex? Right. <laughs> and when Yoshi takes every safe route, it's Carl. <laughs> we, have, we have a term for that. Grandma. Yes. Uh, no, uh, so Carl, when he first started the game, Carl, Carl's speedrun was very, very safe. He didn't really try for any of like the risky strats or anything like that. And so he sort of gained a reputation as being a safe granny. Uh, but, you know, these days Carl has many, many risky strats that he employs. He's, he's grown up from He's gone to the swag side. And now he's Carl's swag. He's graduated from granny to Carl's swag. <laughs> Crystal McKenzie with a $2.33 donation. Tell Carl Swaggin that my donation amount of 233 represents the Yoshi's Island 100% time I will get in the dystopian future of 2036. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is, that, is that Crystal? Is that yes, Crystal? it is Crystal McKenzie. Thank you, Crystal. Uh, and that no, and that no amount of Dr. Pepper he drinks can stop me. <laughs> also, in all seriousness, I am donating to this cause with the little food money I have, so Carl, Cypher, Spim, Lee, and Spine Shark should at least turbo Pidgey so that I have a roasted bird to eat. Put this money toward the Super Mario RPG file name, Apple Bapple. Uh, <laughs> thank, thank you very much, Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Evan, Cormor Evan Comorales, for your $10 donation. Love this marathon, guys. Have first time watching HDQ, and it is awesome. Keep up the good work, and good luck, Carl, on a great run. Put this towards Earthbound Dog as, you guessed it, Frank or Z. <laughs> Thank you, Vitor Renato Pereira, for your $10 donations. Hey guys, I'm the Brazilian guy that made a Portuguese description of the marathon. Keep up the good work, yeah, and thank you, Vitor. Uh, the bandits give me the attack. Again, yeah. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, bandits, um, so these bandits, the blue ones, they, as soon as they see Baby Mario, they just want him. So they just go straight for you and try to grab him. Once they grab him, they just run away. Which is great if you're trying to not speedrun the game. <laughs> Especially since you haven't seen Carl take a whole lot of damage. When you're missing Baby Mario, you start bleeding stars every second. Yeah, yeah which could be very bad. you have to get all of those stars back, and on some levels, that means getting red eggs and bouncing them in. Um, interesting enough for this boss fight, the fastest strat is to stand still for a second. Yeah, as soon as he shoots these blue flames, it's actually faster. To, it's actually faster to wait for them because it minimizes the amount of time that both of these shy guys are pushing. Uh, at back, yeah, back at you. So Trix is known for doing this crazy strat on this boss where he just ground pounds Carl's off the edge. Yeah, I, I would never do something like that in a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> No key! No key! No key! Wow. Nice. That was a really good one. Yeah, he clipped the bottom. He clipped the bottom. Yeah. Really, really low. That was really too because it was like a That was pretty much perfect, Carl. Yeah, that was as close as you can possibly get it. Alright, run it to highlight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't make the whole run high. That's what you said last year, but you did anyways. Don't worry. I close. I think I had like seven highlights from that run. Yeah. By the way, Tiki, we miss you. Please come next year. Crodius here. Another twenty dollars on Sonic Two blindfold, if you please. Thank you very much, Crodius. Wayne Firmage with a ten dollar donation. Mephisto, yeah. nineteen eighty two. Love watching Carl run this game. Good luck on not getting trolled on Sluggy. Ten dollars to Carl's choice. Hey Carl, you get ten dollars. Ten dollars for a donation. Uh, Instead of my choice, yes. uh, I'll let you guys do it. I need to talk. Okay, yeah. Carl needs to think. talk. Um, think. All right. Okay. So uh, these extra levels have really, really cool gimmicks in them. This one particularly is called the Hit That Switch, where you have to continuously have the these breaths which is hit at all times, or else you will die instantly. Another cool thing about this level is that they basically front load all of the stars that you get, because there are no enemies going pretty much. Yeah, and you're just like doing this crazy thing, so we're... Swag. Sorry, I need to concentrate. Most person would be good in the Okay, so we're not taking the intended path through this hole in the slightest. <laughs> this is one of the only levels that we don't have a bonus skip for, so... Yeah, it's dangerous. Uh, the, the end of the level is... it doesn't give you really anything to work with. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna get a bonus. Oh, bonus yeah. but, uh, oh, where's that yeah, gift? Yeah, I got. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose! Oh, like, what the... <laughs> 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 Seriously. Oh, oh my god. Um, yeah, yeah, Carl, how do you feel about Sonic 2 blindfolded? What? <laughs> Is that a good donation? Yeah, oh, that sounds great. Yeah, that sounds right. fantastic. Alright, let's go into a Sonic 2 blindfolded then. So luckily that bonus stage, uh, in World 2, all the bonus stages are the same for all of World 2. Like, the, it chooses from a pool of, uh, of a certain amount, uh, but that pool is always the same, that's bad. Uh, but luckily it's one of the, um, come here you stupid monkey. Uh, it's one of the fastest bonus games, so it only costs 10 seconds. There's some that cost quite a bit more. The monkeys are one of the most annoying enemies. For sure. Yeah. Right they, they, they are. They, they are not cute. <laughs> they, they will kill you if you... You see that face they're them. making? That's the face that says, I'm actually gonna steal your baby. Wow. <laughs> and they, they run around randomly, they do all sorts of stupid stuff. They spit seeds at you that are really hard to see. They can just snipe you. That's yeah. the reason why you have so many issues in the game that bonus level right the monkeys. Well, this level here, okay, so this level in particular is terrifying right after this point right okay, here. I'm just, I don't even deal with that guy. Okay. <laughs> so the reason why this level is suddenly terrifying, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, the reason why this level is so terrifying is because, remember, 100% is 30 stars. There is no, there are no opportunities to make more stars yeah. after this point right if here. If I get hit, I cannot recover. There is no place to make stars. Yeah, right here. So this no is, pressure. <laughs> this so is no some pressure. dangerous times for Carl Sagan. Um, especially since, on this level, you still have to ground pound twice here, avoiding the bullet, the hail of bullets from the, uh, watermelon. Uh, there is a pretty cool bonus skip to this level, though, that, uh, I'm not even sure who figured this one out, but if you remember who did it, props to you. Uh, I have a melon in my mouth, so I'm gonna spit one seed. If you spit one seed, uh, while holding forward, it slows you down like most things do while you're holding forward, and it is just the right amount to skip the bonus. Oh, wow. Um, Thank if someone in Hatch actually could tell me who figured it out, I'll... Thank you, Frederick Severinsen, for your $10 donation. Hi guys, sorry I can't give more, I'm a poor student. Lost my grandmother to cancer before I was even born. What you guys are doing is super awesome. Good luck with all the runs. I'd like my $10 to go to F-Zero hard mode. Thank you, Chuck Masters, for the $10 donation. I can't recall if I've lost anyone to cancer, but I hope I can help prevent it for someone else. I love seeing games played as fast as possible, especially Yoshi's Island, as it's one of my favorite games on SNES. Put my donation towards Carl Sagan and his Yoshi swag. Not, it's not arm, but it might actually be Kaide. Oh, okay. So the current world record is held by a Japanese runner named Kaide, um, who previously was, you know, very very consistent, but very very safe as well. And he was famous for, or he is famous for, uh, among us, anyways, for pioneering the use of these melon strats. Um, you know, last year we tried to avoid melons like plague because they're really trolly in some aspects in that once you have the melon, you can't get rid of it until you spit out all of your seeds. And you want to throw eggs sometimes. Well, you want to eat things sometimes. It's yeah. very important to eat things and make eggs. So, um, yeah, big shout out to him for finding all these other cool, safer skips that we can use. Mm. Thank you, Mike. Some of the riskier ones that we kind of over there. Did you get it? Yeah, I, I, I think I did. Well, I, I heard the I heard the full one. Yeah. Thank you, Mike Bingham, for the twenty dollars donation. Go Sagan! Please use this to finish off the bonus bosses in Dark Souls and put the rest to Holy Diver. Okay. Holy yes. Diver. And yeah. ask Cody if he plans on killing Ingward and how much to not kill him, you monster. Praise the sun. Yeah, another uh, bonus gift there. This next level coming up, 3-3, um, three, three, uh, features uh, one of the more interesting enemies in Yoshi's Island. Uh, it has a really weird name, too. So the name it of this thing... two of the really yeah, most enemies in Yoshi's Island. So it's called Neppy Nuts' Domain or something. I'm just going to let you see it real quick instead of giving... Yeah, okay. There just so go. you can see that name of this enemy. It's this big blue guy who just, like, stalks you in the water. He also has to be on the cover that of the guy. game. It's featured on the cover, that's true. It's yes. featured, featured on the cover. I find it kind of weird that it's featured on the cover, though, because he's only in... He's only, he's only like, two levels? Yeah, two levels, and his lava version is, like, and maybe one more or two more yeah so it's really strange that he's actually so prevalent on the yeah he's cute is exactly the word get yeah. away from me <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so like this 
Oh man, yeah, trying to keep track of what the coins you actually got and didn't get because the NPCs are trolling you, that's a real hard task at times. Um, so, yeah, what I'm doing when I'm pausing is I'm making sure that I got all the red coins in a section. Yeah, uh, some other really cool enemies, the chicken. Yeah, we will be seeing more of that later. We will be seeing more of that later. The tall shy guy. I think the tall shy guy is a monkey masquerading as a <laughs> yeah. Shy guy. Well, what he is is he's actually like a he's an empty bag of melons, and when you jump on him, you actually compress him down, and all the melons seeds spit out. It's pretty cool. There are yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll never see it. There are plenty of okay. So Yoshi's Island has so many really cool enemies that you only see once or twice, and they yeah, have the best properties too. Um, uh, Carl here actually, Carl and Arn in um, in IRC, they are making a hack for Yoshi's Island, uh, where you sort of use all of these really weird enemies with really weird properties to sort of solve puzzles. So it's, it's a puzzle hack basically. Um, it's really fun, it's a little bit frustrating, but that's, that's the best part of Puzzle Hacks though, it's like working on it for hours at a time and then suddenly you have the breakthrough. So this submarine section, uh, I don't mind the submarine as far as transformations go. Uh, wow, that was... Uh, so, um, except for the fact that the missiles do absolutely nothing useful for you whatsoever. Like, they, they, they can like dance circles around enemies, you can't control them at all, all you can do is fire them and they just go up. Uh, and do whatever it is that they want to do. Yeah. So there's only a couple of times when I actually need them to shoot something, like right there. Yeah. Um, like yeah. Right uh, I mentioned Arn earlier. He's just Excellent. a really great dude. He's got tons of information, tons of knowledge, and he loves to spread it. So um, big shout out to Arn. This room coming up is, in my opinion, the tie probably tied for the hardest section in the game to do without getting hit. Luckily, it's okay usually if I get hit. Okay, the fish that are running along the bottom jump randomly at you, so you can never really predict when it's going to happen. You just kind of have to plan for it always happening. But there's like ten of them. This frog has like three different patterns that he can do. Luckily, he didn't do anything bad there. Uh, okay, and then the very... So, we're not done yet. Uh, this part is taking a little bit of a break, but then in, at the next room, uh, things get really intense again. <laughs> Thank you, Vadim Stetsyuk, for your $10 donation. $10 to start off another great year of AGDQ. I'm a little light on money right now after the holidays, but I get my paycheck tomorrow, so expect a lot more. Let's break 500 k this year. Well, thank you. You know what? Aim high. That's what I always say. Jay Williams. Trollfish right here. Okay, we're good. Can't watch trollfish. So this, <laughs> did you see that fish? Oh, okay. okay, so that, that bonus gift at the end there is done by running in the mud because the mud texture, okay, the mud texture slows Yoshi down. So it's the same idea as like a slope or anything else. You just want to slow down a little bit. Oh, that fish. All right. that Thank fish. you, Shay Williams, for your $15 donation. A haiku. One more donation to the glutton dinosaur. Eat all the shy guys. Thank you, Maybe Daniel Carpenter, for your $5 donation. Hey guys, IQ Unlimited here. Shouts to Sagan, Triax, Lee, and all of Yoshi. Hi, you guys IQ. are awesome and good yeah. luck in your run. Anonymous, $15, Skyrim. Thank you. <laughs> Marjorie Delamore, or Delamere, I'm sorry. $10. Shouts to CBX from TOS. <laughs> Go Carl, egg juggle every day. Art out hearts for Trihex and Lee. Love Usagi. P.S. Put this towards Meat Boy expert levels. Yes, we have a lovely Yoshi plushie, as well as five Yoshi coins made by Tom Polino, metal expert. We'll see how long that stays. I'll take it off soon, that's distracting. Oh, you're like, yeah, that's distracting. Not gonna deal with it at all. It wasn't distracting until you mentioned it. Also, this is Awesome Perler. This is a throwing animation. You'll see Yoshi in this game throw lots of eggs. This is him doing so. And. The reason that I keep uh, tonguing above all of those fish is just in case they do happen to jump at me, because it's random whether they do or not. Yeah. And we get one of these. Or we get a set of five of these beautifully minted uh, Yoshi coins. I wonder, can I just like. Can you see this? Uh, uh, not super well, but you can tell it's a coin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Take our word for it. It is shiny, it, it has Yoshi on it, and it is good. It's got Yoshi's face on one side, it's got AGDQ 2013 on the other side. 
It's you, you fantastic. Want these. Yeah, this is actually really well made case. I put it in bed. Turns up the track. Thank you, Naram Kashat, for your ten dollar donation. Very fun and informative Yoshi's Island run thus far. Put this to Eve in the Binding of Isaac. Yeah, I'm sure Rain's not gonna like that. Yeah, he's not gonna. I think he's gonna like that. I forgot. Thanks, Lee. You're welcome. I'll take that off later. Oh, you're a real team player, Thank you, Daniel Coivisto, for your $30 donation. Yoshi coins? Yoshi coins! Yoshi coins. Also, good run so far, and great start so far by Carl Sagan. Thank you, Timo Bauer, for your $15 donation. There are too many shirts on in this run. <laughs> I will donate one extra dollar for everyone that takes his shirt off until 15 minutes after this comment is read. Triax goes for $2 for obvious reasons. This donation goes to Super Mario Bros. 3 100%. Whoa, no. $2 is Next Triax. donation. Yeah, Triax doesn't take his shirt off for less than... You want you want you want to set a total? You want to set a you want to set a, uh, a challenge here? Wait, so wait, shirtless for the remainder of the run? Yeah. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep it like nonchalant. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, okay. So here, there's a very famous Carl Sagan highlight that. Uh, oh, I do you have the link? Do you I actually have, have this? I have the link ready. I have the link ready. Oh my god. It's a very famous Carl Sagan highlight. Oh my god. That I'm, just, I'm just gonna put in the chat here. I don't think I've seen this actually. Um, Yoshi's face at the end of this boss fight is amazing. Yeah. yeah. No, the audio is not I'm, from. Look at those yeah, eyes. Those Sagan's eyes. Those eyes. He knows the, what's coming. That's the better scene. You have Yoshi to the left. Yeah, yeah, the fun thing about this is that instead of the enemy what? becoming larger, in this case, you become smaller, which is a cool take on. Just make sure you look at Yoshi's face in this battle. Wait, did boss I see that right? He didn't even actually eat Yoshi. So there are actually I some know, there are actually some pretty cool mechanics to this boss. Uh, I'm ricocheting the eggs off the wall rather than shooting it straight up at this uvula-like thing. Uh, don't ask why there's a uvula in its stomach. Um, the Fine. reason that I'm uh, doing that is because it actually the uh, the boss takes more damage when you hit it from the side like that. So you, it can actually take like as many as eight or ten or twelve egg shots if you shoot them straight up. Okay, one more. This should be the last one. But it only takes around seven or eight if you do it from the side. There we go. And also the things that hurt you don't come in the middle. Yeah, you can always say. Thank you, Stephen Jackson, for the one hundred dollar donation. Well, we proved that that's not completely. Hey guys, thanks a lot for doing this. It's great to see so many people volunteering their time and donating for a great cause. I myself. I'm a cancer survivor and unfortunately lost my father last year. Together, we can put an end to this dreadful sickness. Good luck, have fun to all the runners. Shoutouts to Paper Inc. Thank you very much for your generosity, Stephen Jackson. Thank you, Bradley Allen, for the $15 donation. Keep up the good work, guys. Yoshi's the best. Okay, so, <laughs> um, this level is really cool because, as you can see, the floor is all foam. Um, so shooting foam, or shooting eggs through foam is really weird because foam has strange properties. They tend to alter and they subtly change the course of eggs as the egg moves through it. So you can actually shoot a straight shot and it'll like curl down or curl up and hit things, um, which makes shooting things through foam, like, if you don't have a very, very or specific shot you have in mind, Getting things through the foam is, can be pretty tricky, actually. Yeah, right. You have to you have to notice the degree of how the foam bends your trajectory for when you're shooting eggs. Yeah. Bend the shot. One of the few times I like to use a melon here, uh, you can get a single seed to go through that hole there. I think that's actually the intended spread. Yeah, it's a lot easier to shoot a melon seed straight than it is to try to aim an egg straight through that hole. Especially through tight gaps. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, here there's gonna be a cool... He's gonna make an off... Uh, or off screen shot here. It's not gonna be off screen. It's not gonna be off screen? Yeah, you can see it. Okay. Thank you, Brandon Sawyer, yeah. for your $5 donation. So I bounced on that enemy on purpose because it sets up the bonus skip. Not Maybe not because I closed it. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Right. Hey, everyone, I was gonna wait till later in the week for donating because I'm on a budget, but these prizes are so awesome. Uh, yeah. oh. That's a bonus. That's a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, World 3 has worse bonus stages than World 2 did, so if I get one where I'm matching a bunch of cards, which I'm pretty sure... No, I didn't. Okay, good. I got lucky. I got the better one to get. I want to risk it all a bit. Take too long. 
Uh, like the minimum couple? <laughs> Forty-six lives. You're gonna need all those lives, right? Yep. So is match cards a possibility? A little bit? Yeah, match cards is a possibility. Very possible, possible. And that's uh, that's the worst one because you can't make that. Uh, yeah, you can't speed it up. Uh, just a heads up for anyone interested in those Yoshi coins: fifteen dollar donation minimum. Okay. Well then. Well, yeah. I'm really. donate. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Brandon Sawyer, for $5 donation. Hey, everyone. I was going to wait till later in the week for donating because I'm on a budget, but these prizes are so awesome. Can we put my previous donation and my current donation towards whatever the reader wants? Oh, yes, we can, and I choose Holy Diver. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting an entry. God bless Dio. I'm getting an entry on those coins, right? Let's defeat cancer with the power of Frank Z. Good job, guys. And just to reiterate, $15. $15 during this game to get into the coins. We got the first die hard a while ago. We got the first die hard a while ago. I'm just kidding. But uh, there's only one holy diver, so. Yeah, we're working on die harder. Um, possibly. With free hand. Yeah, hopefully we get enough for uh, die hard three Tokyo Drift. That would be ideal. <laughs> it does get more expensive every time. It does get expensive. Thank you, Nestori Vanio, for your twenty dollar donation. Thank you for hosting a great event for a good cause. Cancer took my grandfather. My condolences to everyone who lost someone close to them to cancer. Fighting. Thank you, Nestor Nestori. Thank you, MC August Kungs. Yes. Aux Kungs? Alright, it's Aux Kungs with two syllables. Thank you. $25 donation. Congrats on an amazing marathon so far, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my week watching. My dad beat colon cancer last year. Thank you for this awesome cause. Also, Totally get a colonoscopy once you get old like doctors say you should. I plan to donate more later. I know this one is not enough for the Wii U, but is there any way to opt out of that? I already have one. It is fantastic and it would be super unfair for me to get a second one. I still want to be in for that Yoshi Perler. And please don't make anything more do more complicated for the donation readers than it has to be. <laughs> if you win something, you can always email them back and say you don't want it and they'll draw it again. Okay. It's too difficult to pull people out of the drawing, so if you don't want something and you win it, you can just find the email and tell them to give it to somebody else. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to say, but it was put in a much better way. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron Rodriguez, for your $10 donation. Epically epic again. Have to donate while two of my favorite speedrunners and fellow Yoshiers are on the stream. Hey, epic. Yes. Good luck to the swag god that is Carl Sagan, and please put five on this towards Meat Boy and the other five towards the glitched yellow run. Try hard. Try all day. Yes. Thank you, Aki Karpapanen. No, Aki Karpanen. Ten dollars. Corco, Corco from chat again. Eighteen grand in six hours. That is awesome. Put this towards Soten Maria run. Thank you, Daniel Miller, for the fifteen dollar donation. Love watching you guys. Put this towards 100% Mario 3. $5. Hello, I'd like to remain anonymous. Having lost several family members to cancer, I really appreciate what you are doing. Good luck to all the runners and keep up the good work. Just a friendly reminder, we are raising money for the Prevent Cancer Foundation, which fights to prevent cancer through research, education, community outreach, and advocacy. Thank you, Bravo Sam Bravo Sama, for the $15 donation. Bravo Sama here, really appreciate you guys doing this for such a great cause. I'd like my $15 to go towards Ron playing Julius Mode and Donna Sorrow. Hoping to win those Yoshi coins. And very good with that $15, because that is the minimum. Get away from me, crap. Um, for people who haven't seen Soten Maria Mode, it is the fastest yet slowest speedrun you'll have ever seen. <laughs> it's a, it's a, uh, you'll see what I mean. It's an experience. It's an experience, more so that uh, Ron needs oh, yeah, yeah, two yeah. more practice on it. <laughs> I don't ever think about using those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, before I forget, there is another prize actually up for, up for uh, getting in this thing. A Yoshi's Island Super Famicom copy donated by our good buddy Yggdrasil. Yes, there is. can kill me later. Um, it's right here. Nice, sealed, fresh. Uh, Super Famicom. If you have a US <laughs> SNES, you can still play this. You just have to break off these little plastic tabs on it, and then you're good to go. So, uh, yeah, get one of these because they're faster than the US version. But if you can't figure it out, there's several tutorials. Okay, let's Thank you, Christina Likeness. $5 donation. Please put $5 towards Die Hard. SDA is epic. Thanks for all your hard work. Don't get eaten by the fish. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> that lag. 
Yeah, that fish. Someone, someone was saying there wasn't a lot of lag in the game. <laughs> Only in some walls. <laughs> okay, so I want to make sure that I have as many eggs as possible. Do I have a bonus game? Oh, okay. Well, oh, then. Yes. I'm waiting. You guys have to be ready. <laughs> yeah, you, yes, you have to be ready. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to keep getting bonuses. Alexander like Urban with a $5 donation. Currently, there there are watching about 18k people. That are 18k people who are getting the chance right now to question their lifestyle. Yes. No, hold on. You can donate as much money as you want, but it won't protect you from getting cancer or other illnesses. So think about it. Start doing some sports and eat healthy. It's not for you, it's for the people who love you. Thank you very much, Alex, for your $5 donation. Thank you, Daniel Gregory, for the $25 donation. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is oh, black. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll begin there. There's a boss at the end of this level? <laughs> yeah. So, so, at the start of this level, um, I need to go up to six eggs to clear this guy. I have spots on the ground I line this up with to get as many stars as possible. Missed one. Uh, okay, I want to have 20 stars here. I have 19, but that's still fine. Um, you want to just get as many stars as you can to uh, skip various sections um, coming up that require having... Uh, that would normally require uh, taking a little bit more time. Talking while playing hard. <laughs> um, to go in further here, like this fortress with this, uh, you saw the level icon, it's that jumbled version of the piranha plant. This is. Oh, I need some help. <laughs> <laughs> I need that I'm ready. Ready. Yes. I'm only. Uh, you can see with all these complicated shots, it's actually one of the most, one of the legit hardest levels in the game, like as far as what Belt is intended. Like, uh, speedrunning this level for 100% completion is in the 3 minute north range, which very few levels in the game actually that long to beat. Mm -hmm. One of the only other ones is one of the other levels. Yep. That means, I think that's one of the other ones. Thank you, Daniel Gregoire, for the $25 donation. I remember you had trouble pronouncing my name when I donated during the summer marathon, so don't worry about it. I don't. I had a recent <laughs> cancer scare in my family, so I understand the importance of what you're working towards. Shoutouts to Krim, who's doing the Mega Mario run tomorrow, even if it's too early for me to see in my time zone. Thank you very much, Mr. Gregoire. Thank you, Chris Horace, for the $10 donation. Have watched AGQ before and love it. Great players and a better cause. Since this is a Yoshi's Island run, go ahead and let try Hex. Nice one. So, he has to hit that guy off screen for that to happen, otherwise he'll grow and he'll have to waste some time hitting him again. Yeah, these ghosts normally, oh. take, normally take about four eggs to uh, get small enough for you to jump over them. However, they when they spawn off screen, they spawn really small. So if you hit them when they're really small, um, not like that, then it only requires one egg shot. Yeah, I didn't get it again. Got a little bit, but not quite enough. Yeah. I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay, this is a really hard trick. I'm probably only gonna try it once, but you can click through these guys for a split second. I didn't get it. Uh, you, if you hit those uh, guys, you can click through them for just a split second, uh, which can let you run through it without having to hit him three times like that. All right. Now we gotta uh, wait for the tulip. So yes, uh, yeah, this this is just another thing you try to avoid because it takes a lot of time for it to. All right. <laughs> okay, so okay. this Off is screen? this is one of the most uh, I would say famous developer intended uh, tricks in this game. Uh, normally, there's this big piranha that you have to fight, but we don't like fighting big piranhas, so we're just gonna. Nope. Oh, we're just, not we're gonna, just gonna hit him before Kamek has time to cast his magic. Cast his magic on him, and no boss. Oh, ah. awesome. Oh. All right. Oh. Um, I love that it's like the so, skip. Yes. Chris yeah, Horace, ten dollar donation. Do that. Have watched AGQ before and love it. Great players and better cause. Since this is a Yoshi's Island run, go ahead and let Trihex pick what this donation goes towards. Trihex. Wait, wait. Uh, ten dollars. What would you like to go I towards? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You have a shirt on. Do you want to go towards <laughs> that? <laughs> Scared me, Carl. I thought we were gonna have a repeat of talking about the skip and then having to fight the boss like we had in the with Trihex. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Cut. 
So we are here right now. Okay. Thank you, Jordan Driuti, for the twenty dollars donation. Hey guys, I'm Gravco. Thanks for everything. Okay. This donation to be split this way for FF9 names. Ten dollars for Miss MV as Kina, and ten dollars for Mr. MV as the Don. Thanks again, and good luck. So this next level, uh, I think it's it probably the nightmare level. Yeah, it's pretty much the hardest level in the game. So. Um, I will just talk. Carl, hopefully you'll just play okay. awesomely. Um, so this level has no floor. It's got a lot of pinwheels, a lot of monkeys, a lot of bullets flying around, but no floor. Um, there was a floor right there. Right here. Not Sorry anymore. Here. Yeah, not anymore. There isn't. That's a cool um, trick. Yeah, you just go through yeah, there's By the way, I just that step on here. Yeah, there, yeah, that's a clever skip. Basically, if you stand on the pinwheel and hold or you tap the other direction away from the wall, the pinwheel will slowly actually push you into the wall and through it eventually. Here he's going to grab a melon and spit the spray. You got all of them. Okay, good. I didn't get the last one. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. What do we got to try? Oh, wait, wait. This is important. There are, yeah, yeah. There, are, there are some eggs, right? That one there. Okay, there we go. Um, basically, this level, there's a ton of sprites going on, lots of like bullets flying everywhere. So this level has a huge chance of despawning all sorts of sprites, and is probably the hardest level just because of the fact that you have to flutter everywhere, and yet you can't get hit. So you only get the stars at the very that like top screen with all the star with the crates there. Yeah. It's one of the biggest ones of possibly despawning a red coin, isn't it? Yeah. So I actually threw excess eggs away because having extra eggs following you uh, decreases or increases. Just the total number of sprites on screen, um, and having more sprites on the screen can cause more things to despawn. Uh, that level has actually 21 red coins in it, like the developers actually put 21 red coins. I'm not sure that this is why, but I suspect it might have been because it's so easy to despawn one of them, uh, as just kind of like a backup. Thank you very much, Joshua Balanuik, for your very generous $200 donation. My mom was recently diagnosed with lung cancer. It's been good news so far, but I'm left with an endless amount of gratitude to you all, runners and fellow donors alike, for showing such an incredible amount of selflessness, of self of selflessness on behalf of the entire gaming community. Thank you so much. P.S. Poochie is indeed very stupid. <laughs> Thanks for beating that level so well. It was one of the only ones I could never fully beat as a kid. Thank you. Poochie D is on. Yeah, try. What did you want? Um, so you asked me about what I want to donate towards? Yes. I'm extremely hyped for the Awful Games Done Quick block coming Ev up. Uh, myself as well. Everyone should be. That's Thursday morning. Thursday morning, right? And um, I want to donate, or donate, I want to put that towards um, Sonic Story during uh, Sonic 06. Ooh, very good choice. Yeah. Like, that game is very, very terrible. And <laughs> it is. Indeed it is. Suck as much as possible. Also, that's a moment about $250 oh. of wanting you shirtless. Same. So, oh, okay. So, $50? So all right, we need uh, 50, you know, some odd more dollars. <laughs> that section's really scary when you get fuzzied, because when you get fuzzied and the uh, the platforms are waving, you can actually fall directly through them. Just yeah, flip, because just the platform, straight through them. the platforms aren't actually, like, round. <laughs> I oh, need some help there, right? I need some help. I, some help. <laughs> I, I just needed a little help, guys. <laughs> just a little, just a little boost. But uh, yeah, the platforms aren't actually ground; they're actually sprites. And so, the funny thing about sprites is that when they're wavy, you can clip right through them. Uh, it's one of the really, really terrifying things about that, uh, that kind of thing. Yeah. Thank you, Michael Sullivan, for the five dollar donation. Hey, love what you guys are doing. Lost you my really grandfather to, to cancer. Yes, just try yes. it. Oh my god. Try hard Franker Z. He's gonna go for a backs for finish. Oh, the tongue was right there, man. Oh. Try X, I'm sorry. Hey, at least I got the bonus. Hey, you got the bonus here. Great. <laughs> All intended. Yeah, 100%. Michael Sullivan with $5. Hey, love what you guys are doing. Lost my grandfather to cancer. I'd like to donate towards a Julius Mode run for Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Also, shout to SRL and BGZ. Yes, just a reminder, we are speeddemosarchive.com, the premier source for speedrun videos and knowledge. And we also have many people from speedrunslive.com, which is the premier source for races of many different types of games that are live streamed. Thank you, Barry Les Johns, for the $10 donation. Great cause, great event. Nothing more, nothing less. Props to Carl Sagan and to the French commentators who are currently commenting this event in French. Mux and Itch Jump. Ten dollars for Kina as Miss MV FF9 game, and keep up the good work. Yes, and shout out to everyone in France watching. Thank you, Kyle.
right. Thank you. Shout out to Million Bucks. Thank you, Kyle Mish, for the $10 donation. Wow. Hey, thanks for the awesome marathon for a great cause. I absolutely love Yoshi's Island, so put this 10 bucks in for the Yoshi plushie. Can't wait to see more and donate more. Thank you, Nicole Hain, for the $10. I have to get in for a chance at that Yoshi Perler. I'm trying not to spend all my money on the first day, but it's really hard to do since there's so much cool stuff to donate for. There is so much. Like, like, just real quick here, we have so many prizes this year. Yeah. I'm, I've been sorting through them last night and today, and we have literally like three, four tables of prizes. You can't see them really, but it is ridiculous. I it is indeed it puts ridiculous. You in a state of awe. No, oh. we have like one backup prize table. There's like three yeah, the entire back, back of the wall is prizes that are coming up, and then this front table here, we have so many prizes just for like the next 24 hours. Yes. You guys need to. Also, oh, no, yes. also Miss Hain has decided to put this towards singing the ending song in F Zero because you can never get enough singing. Thank you, David Bedencourt, for the five dollar donation. Carl, can you do the lava skip in six four consistently yet? Are you gonna that take is a lava standard response from Carl, or are we gonna? Are you gonna go granny on me, Carl? Or are you gonna go? Are you gonna take the grandma log? What, what, what you gonna do? Well, <laughs> they don't call me grandma. They're Bedencourt going in. <laughs> Gra grandma, you so you wanna give us our, your standard response and why you don't do it then, Carl? Oh, yeah, so there's this thing. There's this thing at the end of the game called the lava skip. I guess we can talk about it when we get there. Um, but uh, basically, it's this really hard thing that Triax always does. It looks really cool and it's really awesome, but it saves three seconds and it's really, really, really unforgiving and hard. Three so. seconds, though. <laughs> It's like a year in speedrun. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Matthew Simmons, for the $10 donation. Wish I could chip in more, but here's what I can. I mentioned my sister and her breast cancer diagnosis during last year's marathon, and as of this year, she's still going strong and still driving me nuts. Keep up the good work, guys, and put my donation towards Carl Sagan's choice. Uh, just putting it out there now, the $300 for a Trihack stick-off your shirt has been met. Why? <laughs> do it. Do I do yeah, it something else? Or just, or just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just rip it off. Hype levels are increasing. Yeah, I'm going try hard, the amount of swag no, is off the charts. Yeah, um, this is one of my favorite sections in the game to this play, is by the way. a really smooth looking section when, yeah. you, when you do it correctly, yeah. Because you can clip through those, like I tried to do in the earlier level, but didn't manage to do it then. You can, you can clip through these, and I'm going to do it again coming up here in a second. Uh, these guys have a small hitbox where you can fit through them, uh, even though they're technically still alive after getting hit with a projectile or with an enemy. Yeah. Um, so, remember how we were, earlier we were talking about frames and how you know one frame is 160 to the second? Well, the three seconds that Carl would have saved if he does the lava skip is 180 frames. In other words, Carl is losing triple digits worth of frames by not doing the lava skip. How does that make you feel, Carl? Alright, Jan... <laughs> right. Jan Gel uh, Geldsetsu with $33.30 donation. Alco here, it's 2 a.m. I'm sitting down with a cup of tea. Happy that I don't watch need to work tomorrow and can watch <laughs> Sagan! Continue Sagan. this great work and go for world record. So I touched Yoshi's nose to the end of that uh, arrow there uh, as a method of setting up the screen so that the goal ring sc scrolls onto the screen at a position that will cause it to uh, not get to give a bonus stage. So that's another form of bonus skip. Um, the normal, the reason we don't do the normal bonus skip there is because uh, that goal ring is a little bit unpredictable based on the height that you flutter in at at the end of the level. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nicholas Sent, for the $35 donation. This is what I'm Had to donate something to you guys. I watch SCA and SRL more than normal TV nowadays. Love what you guys do and how you do it. Yeah, just to reiterate, this is probably one of my favorite levels in the game. It's really long. It's that is also really why. long. Yeah, it's probably the longest non auto scroller in the game, legitimately. It's really um, I It'll take about know. five minutes to beat, and that's optimized with everything. I remember one of the highlights where you jump up this opening section. I dislike this level. Um, yeah, you know what? Since this is a really long level, um. <laughs> right. Nice oh. miss. Nice miss. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Anthony Grappin, for the $25 donation. If I'm not mistaken, this is the fourth annual marathon. Like a terrible person, I have not donated. To make things worse, I download a dozen or two runs throughout each year, and I download over half of the runs from each marathon. To try to make up for this, I plan to donate one time for each year you've done the marathon. How much will I donate? I will start the, fee the feed at arbitrary times and donate $1 per person I can count on camera. Capping at $25. When I start typing, I count 25 Keep up the good work. 
So one of the, the gimmicks of the level is that there are four keys in each of these four. When you when you see the main hub of the world, this level, there's four corners that he has to go to. He has to go to each one of these sections and pick up a key, which is the the, the cool part of the level. Which is why I like it a lot. Oh! 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 Wow! Nice, nice shot. Um. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this is a really long level. Um, we have a few shots. Yeah. Oh, Where are you ooh, going? Baby Mario. <laughs> He's taking them places. Um, yeah, but we have a few shadows to give. Uh, we'll do them sporadically throughout the, uh, throughout this, this run. The first shout out, of course, is the Team Liquid. Uh, we've definitely, Carl and I, anyways, wear repping shirts and everything. Uh, thank you for being an awesome community. I saw, I heard the thousand and ten dollar Violet donation. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. I mean, you guys are awesome. Yeah. Uh, keep donating though. Klaasnor is around the corner. Yeah. <laughs> and Don't, do not let your guard down. Yes. Thank you, Francisco Galvin. Knows how to use it. For the twenty dollar donation. Always have to see some Yoshi love from Carl and Try, the two people who got me into speedrunning it. Hopefully you won't have to use the GIF I made, and hopefully I get that Yoshi prize. <laughs> who was that? Who was that? Uh, Francisco Galvin. Yes, that's the bonus gift. Yeah. I think they know. I think familiar. Yes. Lindsay Hardison, thank you for your $40 donation. Go, Mr. Sagan, you're awesome. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Paul Malgapo, for your $69.69 donation. Oh. I love what you guys do, and I hope you know that you are all appreciated. Keep on gaming on, and keep working for that great cause. Thank you, Eric Reisfeld, for your $15 donation. Hey, all, an awesome marathon. Put this towards Female Shepherd in Mass Effect. Also, hi, Test Runner. <laughs> Andrew Rocky with a $40 donation. Put this toward a PJ Mystery Game. Color Dinosaur is the greatest run ever. Thank you, Afridi, for the $15 donation. Afridi from Norway again. Yay, Carl Sagan! I loved your books and documentary on the cosmos. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite science man. Had to donate for a chance to Tom Felino's awesome Yoshi coins. Please put this toward 00 Agent 100% in Goldeneye 007. <laughs> I'm more of a fan of Neil deGrasse Tyson. There's, there's enough love in the middle for both. <laughs> thank you, Nicholas Allenberg, from your for your $25 donation. Also hello from Sweden. Also I want to thank you for putting together this great event. What you're doing is amazing, and I'm happy to see so many people watching. Also, a big thank you to all the talented speedrunners participating. Good luck to all of you, and don't forget to have fun. Please put this donation towards Astoria in Dark Soul. The floor is locked. It is? <laughs> yeah. That fireball is a troll sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be careful. Um, okay. yeah, so... Last key. You notice that the keys actually take up uh, egg slots. We can only carry six eggs, so I can only carry two eggs while having four keys. The, the way the level intends you to do this is to get one key, open up the middle, get a save ring, go back, and repeat the process. I, saw, I, never played like that. I did when I was like I seven. I never did it the first time either. I tried to gather all four, and it's so hard. You can only carry two eggs. Yeah. Uh, Carl, you want to talk about what the world record is currently? Yeah, the current world record for the game is 2.44.18, so 2 hours, 44 minutes, and 18 seconds by the Japanese speedrunner Kaede, a fantastic speedrunner and a pretty cool dude. Hmm. Um, uh, you want to talk about the Any% percent world record and who has that? I ha the Any% percent world record is 1.49.07 by me. Hmm. Bam. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Thank you, Preston Chatterton, for the $50 donation. What you guys are doing is pretty amazing. Keep up the great work. Super Mario RPG is the best Final Fantasy game. Shouts to Something Awful and Steam Goons in particular, Mad Friar, Avalon. <laughs> Eric Hibbs, thank you for your $10 donation. I still can't get over just how far AGDQ has come. I remember being ecstatic when the chip-in went above 10k the during double. a census run. Oh, yes! Long live Mike. Oh! oh. No, 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 no. no, there's no way. So I have to kill myself because if you hit these things, uh, it doesn't. Hey, you can get stars from that though. You can't get any stars from hitting these things anymore. So because I got hit there, there's nothing to do other than to just kill myself. And that was complete trolling because I wasn't even in that guy at all. It was just hitbox stupidity. Long live Mike's Adobe Gaming Festival. But it's all good. It says, I got oh. point ah, you're right. <laughs> My apologies. I've been afraid of that happening for so long, and it's never happened. And then, of course, uh, marathon. Uh, marathon. I I thank you, Matthew one Barr, one for the $15 was, donation. Like, as I ground pounded, I was I love, oh, oh, I love Toho yeah. and Mega Man, so I'm looking forward to the Mega Mari run, even if it means ruining my sleep schedule. Please, please put me down for the Marissa Kur Kurasame Fumo drawing if possible. Love these streams. Keep up the great work. 
a quick announcement. We uh, crossed 20K. Yours. All right. Yeah. All right. Woo! Thank you for making me not a liar. <laughs> And so uh, the reason why he got hit there is because one, hitboxes are really dumb, and two, you see how it's like the, the, you know, the level's on a slope. So when he's on a lower part, because the mills are round, it kind of, you know, the hitbox kind of just sort of bumps into him a little bit. It's pretty hot. Also, my apologies, but this is just a reminder: if you want to ent be entered in a drawing for a prize, it has to be during the game. So, for instance, if you want to go for the Marissa drawing, it has to actually be du during Mega Mari. If you want, like the Yoshi plushie, it has to be during Yoshi's Island. So uh, probably better, better thing to do would be to check the schedule to see what the prizes are actually being drawn. Indeed, Lee. Yes, the schedule will tell you everything you need to know for the prizes. So this level is called Chomp Rock. Are we going to do it, Chance? Uh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Okay, that rock that Carl just uh, passed by, the, the tiki stone looking one, um, yeah, the main gimmick of the level is you have to use that rock to do every part of the level. But we've gotten so legit with the alternative strategies that we don't need that rock at all. Like you're supposed to ground pound all those poles right there to let the rock continue rolling down the Yeah, you're just supposed to push a rock with you the entire time. And so this level's just built uh, uh, around various different ways to skip the areas that normally that normally would require you to uh, use the rock. Yes. This level is also home to these little roly poly bugs who are really awesome, but unfortunately we cannot show them off uh, in this run. Sorry. Uh, so this is another place where you would normally have to use the rock, but instead... Yeah, just skip like that. Flutter over that, yeah. Yeah, we just flutter over that. And then this is the last part. You're not supposed to be able to get up here at the end of the level without the rock. That's why I have a shell with me. So remember, you can bounce off of anything and get a really big flutter, and that lets you get over that last <laughs> nice piece right frame. There. I like that. Yeah. I like the animation there. Thank you, Alex Zanetti, for the $30 donation. For the Yoshi coins, I'm actually doing cancer research in a lab right now, so it's awesome to see so many people helping out. You guys are the best. Great run so far. Um, yeah, so that, pushing the rock down into that foam, remember how things like despawn in this game? That flower has a really high chance of despawning if you do things the wrong way. So it's pretty, pretty tense there for a second. Luckily, it did not happen. <laughs> Thank you, Edward Charlebois like, oh, III, yeah. for your $10 donation. Hey guys, thanks for this awesome event and the good cause. This will keep me busy while I'm stuck in the teacher's office being a warm body until the Japanese students come back from winter vacation. Props to Trihex and Yggdrasil, Edwan Tokyo. So that bonus skip at the end there is set up by running into the wall. We try to find... something like a wall is really useful uh, for setting up something like a bonus skip um, because it puts you in the same spot anytime you run into it. Uh, so we try to find easy ways to just like run into a wall and have it be a location that sets up the screen to skip a bonus. And fortunately, we found a whole bunch of cool ones like that. Thank you, Matt Booz, for the five dollar donation. Donating because of the Team Liquid shirts. Go TL. Thank you, Stefan Person, for the fifteen dollar donation. Great event. I hope I can participate in the future playing some Time Splitters too. Thank you very much, Jan Felix Walter, for the ten dollar donation. I was going to torture myself with some more Dark Souls, first playthrough for me, but then I got glued to ATDQ by all the swag on the couch. Um, by the couch right. 3, that nonchalant, I would never do this in a marathon run. Put this <laughs> towards bonus bosses in Dark Souls, please. Yeah, the Dark Souls run is actually really impressive. Even uh, without the kill skip, it's really, really sweet. I highly recommend it. You meant all that swag on the chair, right? Because Carl's uh, on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's a good point. Thank you, Tristan McDonald, for the $10 donation. Mr. Antimatter here. Great to see two of the best Yoshi's Island speedrunners ever in the same place. Outside the creepy speedrunner slash fanfiction, my sister keeps emailing me. <laughs> Keep up the good work, guys. So most of those flowers pop out eggs. That particular one pops out enemies, which if you happen to have full eggs, which won't happen. In 100% run. Yeah. Die. Die. Pop out we eggs. spit the shy guy there to freeze that crab, and then we ground pound to kill him. Uh, otherwise, he's really, really trolly, because he blocks your way. Never knew you crab. Yeah, yeah, I didn't um, know that for the longest time either. Yeah, Thank you, Darren Conroy, for the $25 donation. Count this towards Sonic 2 Blindfolded. Color me morbidly curious. Thank you, Henrique Coelho, for the $20 donation. Shout-outs from Brazil, and don't worry if you can't say my last name correctly. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're Brazil? Okay, Coelho. That's what I say. Put this donation in favor of Holy Diver. I'm also, I'd am i also like to propose a bonus incentive for Batman. Have someone sing the 60s Batman theme. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Why don't we add that to the ever-growing list of Arkham City <laughs> donation incentives? Which there are a lot. Thank you, Mark Daniel Nunez, for the $10 donation. Let my second donation go to Holy Diver. Also, God bless the ring. Isn't 
there's the, um, yes, the, yeah, Batman. Yes. Thank you, Zachary Jindra for the, uh, Zachary Jindra for the $40 donation. Swag lag. Swag lag. <laughs> hey guys, I've had family members who've lost their lives to cancer, so any chance I had to donate, I take. Enter me in for any prize, they are all awesome. Thank you very much, Zachary. So I'm running down the yes, staircase at the end there on purpose because the just walking down that staircase happens to skip the bonus stage. Thank you, David English, for the $7 donation. Great stream. I'm watching you with my best friend. I lost my maternal grandmother to cancer, so I really admire what you guys are doing. Keep up the good work. Put this to die hard. Thank you, Rodman Turpin, for the $20 donation. Really appreciate what you're doing. I've lost family and friends to cancer, so what you're doing means a lot to me. You're all truly amazing people for what you're doing for cancer research. Also, I support shirtless trihex. Thank you, Andrew Karst, for your $10 donation. Love the marathon so far. I lost my mother to cancer when I was six, and video games with my dad were one of the things that helped me to deal with it. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you, Grayson Orlando, for the $5 donation. A word of encouragement for Carl, and shout-outs to Trihex, Lee, and the rest of the Hexmen. Also, Lava Skip, Carl, Trollolololol, <laughs> IG64. Thank you, Sean Fleming, for your $2 donation. A friend of mine recently had a loved one die from cancer. I love what is being done here and had to support. Shouts to Neogaf and the most beautiful girl, Ponpo. Put this in my prior donations to whatever the reader desires, and I desire some holy diver. Yes. Thank, me, thank you very much, Jeremy Newman, for the $10 donation. Egg so hard! Thank you, Corey Spicer, for the $40 donation. The Seawolf won here. Put this toward the running of a magnificent game. Holy diver! <laughs> Thank you, DJ Myers, for your fi for your fifty dollar donation. Want the Yoshi coins, and the rest of the money goes to Blindfolded Sonic. Good luck with the rest of the stream. Also, just just to let you know, uh, all that money will go towards Blindfolded Sonic. Just by having the money in there, like you are put in the drawing, it doesn't have to be specifically for that. Yes. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> oh hey. Right, oh. So remember what we said about picking up uh, show off strats from Trihex? That's that's something there. Don't get the bonus, <laughs> bonus. But you won't take the lava skip. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Ryan Myers, for the yeah, very generous two hundred and fifty dollar donation. Off to a wonderful start. Lost a close friend to skin to skin cancer two years ago. Split this with fifty dollars five ways, please. Mike Tyson blindfolded, Araya of Sorrow, Julius Boss Rush, and ba Banjo Kazooie, Zelda Two, Mass Effect, Femshep. All right. Thank you, Ryan Myers. Uh, let's see what happens. Etienne Normandu with a $100 donation. Trihex shirtless, yes. You got it, man. Well, you got it. Thank you, Zach Martins, for the $20 donation. Hey, guys. Awesome cause and awesome schedule. Keep up the good work. $10 for shirtless and $10 for Skyrim. Thank you, Chris Stranges, for the $50 donation. Get the tongue, man. So awesome to see two of my favorite runners, Carl and Peaches, do their thing. Please put my fifty dollars towards the extra bosses of Dark Souls. Oh no! Oh, that's the troll. It doesn't matter. Take the stairs. It doesn't matter. I just happened to hit the shell the whole way down this crazy bounce path. Hit that. I could have done it slightly faster otherwise. It didn't even that was impressive in a way. Yeah, yeah. Well, it looks it was... cool. It's supposed to look cool. That's the way the game designed it to look. But it's also really not that much. So here's another one of those gate hacks. Yeah. And hopefully, I this one is harder, harder when you're not, you know, on the floor. There we go. Well, it's harder when there's like a wall right above your head. That's the problem. You can't get the full height, and you have to do it really precisely. Uh, you and the Steven Thrapp with a $200 donation. Great job, guys. I haven't lost anyone to cancer, but we've come closer than I'd like. Put this donation towards potential shirtlessness, or just high fives. I just want to point out that Trihex just like shouted out $300, two donations, and he has it. Oh, really? That, that's all it took? Yeah, wow. one person gave 100, another gave 200. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you should have raised it. You should have done 3,000. I did, I did I know. high fives, though. Even, even then, it's already been mad. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Raul Renteria, for your $30 donation. Great Yoshi's Island run so far. Carl, you are awesome. Looking Thank forward you. to the days to come. Hurry up with the 100% TAS. $30 towards the Wii U package. Yeah, that's fine. The 
what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, five six is a lot of time. Oh, Those breakout style down. blocks there, normally the eggs can only bounce like, what, three times? Yeah. And then they'll just go away, but those blocks refresh the number of bounces they can get, so that they can bounce around a ridiculous number of times. And normally it takes more egg shots than that, but Carl just got that really well. My juggle, through the farm. I'm so cool, my name is Carl. <laughs> I don't have the eggs, don't worry time out. Alright, Jessica Carl with a $3.33 donation. Uh, oh, oh. I will... <laughs> I would like my two previous donations of twenty dollars each to go toward the file in Wind Waker, being little Cos or little Cosmo, just I L I L little. Yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's, special, there's about nothing special about this boss. There's, there's no. nothing. Nothing special. It's not about that egg. Yeah, that egg is pretty special though. Well, he does kind of part eggs. That's pretty special. Well, no, I mean, like, that egg that no. was juggled was, like, clipping out of the... That was weird. That was a weird animation. Ooh, ooh, that was really cool. I like that one. So, a weird part about this boss is sometimes you can just, like, get hit by clipping through the thing's head, uh, which is really annoying, and hopefully that's not going to happen. Yeah. Nothing special. And then the rest of the boss is completely... Nothing at all. ...is Nothing completely at ordinary all. other than that. Yeah, not... ...at all. So that's a glitch that we call Blast Off because Yoshi just goes flying off of the Koopa. I'm not exactly sure why it happens, but the way that you do it is by ground pounding him as he's flying through the air at the very end, and it can produce some really interesting results. We'll see if it does. Oh, you got the good oh. one! <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes the game decides to uh, just freeze for a while. No, uh, it's not frozen. It's not frozen, yes. Yoshi, Yoshi is slowly so high and it's slowly coming Yoshi down. So, so you might be wondering why we did that. Uh, it because it's cool? Because it's cool? <laughs> also, well, no, technically, alright, this is actually a good segue. So, in the tasks, that actually saves time because when you blast off, sometimes you actually get the chance of not loading like the get key animation and that'll save like a second or two. Um, so, but this is also a really good segue to talk about Carl's task. So, well, a lot of people keep saying the word task okay, might yeah, be used to talk about what that is. Yeah, so task is tool assisted speed run. Basically, we use like emulators and computers to slow it down to frame advanced things so that, um, well, they do anyways, so that they can have like the optimal, like an inhuman Yoshi's Island run. Uh, the tasters for the 100% run are Carl Sagan over here, NXTY, and Baxter, and they've been working on this for a long, long time. Yeah. They have like what, like 700,000 re-records. Yeah. So a yeah. lot of people, a lot of people here, like, oh, but you're just like, you know, isn't it just like cheating, you know, to make a, to make a TAS since you're just, you know, you're just doing everything really slowly and. Uh, getting like this perfect video that doesn't actually show what a human could actually do, and that's exact, and that's completely true. I mean, nobody. It's meant to be just something that's entertaining. So I just wanted to get that out there before somebody brings that up. Yeah, it's, right. it's just like someone who's like a master router. It's, that's really what it is. Right. Thank you very much, Simon Livegrin, for oh, the three hundred dollar donation. I sure hope Trihex was serious about going shirtless for three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, wow, I just gave you. them away for something as silly as cancer prevention. <laughs> Those Yoshi coins are looking swag, by the way. Okay, so we effectively doubled. <laughs> okay. All right, six hundred. You know what? Six hundred dollars was actually a good target. So I'm glad we met that. That we set totally. <laughs> Nicholas Rossi with a twenty dollar donation. Hey guys, loving the marathon and the Yoshi's Island run. Feel free to put this toward the ever-growing Die Hard total. Nice. Thank you, Philip Weimeyer, for the five dollar donation. Add this five to my previous ten so I can get in for the coins. Put all 15 towards the incentive of your choice. And by your, I'm guessing me, so holy diver. <laughs> so, an interesting thing about this level um, is the fact that it put this theme never appears as the actual level theme for any other level. Uh, it does appear in other levels, but it just plays this theme the whole time. Uh, also, the, this role, the mall going backwards the whole way is um, it's pretty cool. Uh, the transformations. I don't, I'm not particularly fond of the transformations in this game from, from a speedrunning perspective, but they're kind of cool from a, from a more casual perspective. Tom, don't lie, they're not cool from a casual perspective either. <laughs> no, no, okay, yeah, they're pretty cool, but they're, they're just so, yeah. they're so trolly. Thomas Herrick Jr. with a $15 donation. Thank you so much for all of your hard work, everyone. My father was diagnosed with small cell lung cancer four years ago and was faced with a 5% survival chance. The RNG god smiled on him and he's still around today. I hope this money goes towards making it so nobody else will have to deal with that sort of luck. Have fun, everyone. Thank you, Cole Kingsland, for, ten, for your $10 donation. 
My donation is towards someone doing a honey percent run of any game. <laughs> if not, whatever the reader chooses. What's a, what is that? It involves honey on your controller. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I think it's a multiple. Yeah, about that. Uh, Holy Diver, next. <laughs> um, it's not Greg? a keyboard. We're all signed by eight. Yes. Greg Brule with a $25 donation. Love Yoshi's Island when I was a kid. Great marathon for great cause. Keep it up, everyone. Thank you very much, Greg. Thank you, Brandon Martin, for your $5 donation. Put $5 towards Isaac in Binding of Isaac. This is kind of a weird bonus skip. Um, if you hold down jump when you walk off an edge, it auto flutters uh, on the first boss in the first uh, moment possible. Um, th if you just have, if you just hold down jump and walk off the edge at the end, that auto flutter is the right amount of slowdown to skip the bonus. More crazy janky tactics that we've come up with for yeah. bonus skips. We we basically have to try everything because it's for some reason numbers. the yeah. game like tries its hardest. So that our normal actions don't make us skip, or don't allow us to skip the uh, the, the bonus. We try like just doing like, one tongue, one ground pound, something like that. No, it never works. Yeah, all the stuff that we would try first, like hmm, maybe one tongue slows you down just enough. Nope. Thank you, Jared Natsis, for your five dollar donation. This is Ultra Raffle. <clears throat> I don't run any games, but I love watching those who do. Shoutouts to Team Yoshi and to Yggdrasil because I want that Yoshi's Island Famicom card. That was another dupe right there. <clears throat> Keep up the awesome run, Carl Swaggin and Tryhard. <laughs> You want to keep the slow, the screen really low at the end there, so that boulder goes over you. Uh, if the screen's higher, the boulder loads in faster, which causes it to start rolling faster, which causes it to hit you. Yeah, it pushes you out of the way. Or even sometimes when the boulder like hits you, you just for some reason you just lose your car, you lose big Mario. Thank you. Um, Thank you, James Ellis, for the twenty dollars donation. Hi all, really enjoying this year's marathon so far. Good luck to all the runners involved. Shout outs to my friends there from your pal, Washi. Thank you, Kevin Dayton, for the $25 donation. Hey, AGDQ, keep doing your thing. This is for Holy Diver, and for a family member currently battling pancreatic cancer, who views some holy magic justice. Indeed. Thank you, Raymond Durkowski, for the $5 donation. This is Raid Zero. $5 for the goal to Ron Scout play something that needs it more, because... I haven't seen him play in forever, thanks to his RNG with technology. <laughs> I guess that's I, I, I guess? Well, it could be Alucard. I don't know. He just... Yeah, something with Ross. Something. It could be that, too. It's not specific. Yeah, it's, it's very... Yeah. There's a lot of things he's involved in, so it could be many different things. Well, I'm a very involved kind of guy. Super yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let us know. Um, Raymond Durkowski, if you have any more money, maybe donate like a dollar or something and let us know exactly what you want for Rom to play. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. But I also like butter suggestions. Thank you, Edward, Helms, uh, Edward Hemsley, for the $15 donation. Can't help but donate for a chance at one of those coins. If the donation isn't absorbed by prize entry, put the 15 towards saving the animals in Super Metroid. Yeah, this upcoming uh, level is another level with no real bonus skip strat. You'll see why when we get to the end. There's also oh, yeah. this funny little thing, there's a hidden egg up there. I don't even know what it's doing there or what. It's What's for you, going it's a present for you, Carl. The game knew you needed it. Exactly. Thank you, Brandon Sawyer, for your $5 donation. I'm going $5 over budget to get them coins. This money is going towards the 100% Super Mario Bros. 3 run. Thank you, Marjorie Delamere, for the $15 donation. The Yoshi coins. Siren's song is called to me, and I realized that I had not donated the minimum. Put this towards Maria run for Saturn Soten. Thank you, oh. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> scary. That was um, scary. Backup strikes. Yeah. So the, this world uh, is penguins. really good at trying to kill you. This world is full of penguins. Which penguins are, are also annoying. Um, you did actually didn't know this, but penguins are actually the devil. Uh, <laughs> they can't be turned into you, eggs. Yeah, it, it's really you know not well known. It's a little known fact, but they will. They, they, they will do. They do their hardest. They just are. Thank you, Phil Farkley, for your fifty dollar donation. I've been doing video game QA for a number of years, and what I'm witnessing here can only be described as wizardry. <laughs> Please take my donation and put it towards Die Hard or Carl Swagen's 
or Carl, Carl Swaggins' hair, whichever brings us closer to the cure. Best wishes and good luck, have fun. Thank you, Tony Cozens, for the $20 donation. Yeah, hey, all, great speed run so far. Keep up the awesome work and please put this to the Batman race. Oh, nice. I love that spell. The end of this level is not nerve wracking yeah. <laughs> not at, at all. all. Yeah. At all. I don't. I have, if I've, anyone I've, sees floor or ground somewhere safe to stand on, please let us know. <laughs> yeah, so if you see there, because like the penguins are moving, it, it takes us like a variable amount of time. Wow. Oh, wow, oh, wow. last frame. Oh, nice. So wow. close. Um, yeah, because the penguins are moving, it takes us like a different amount of time each time to get up to the goal ring, which means that it's, you know, it's just moving randomly. We have no way of knowing yeah, this, when we're going to get that. So 2E and 5-2 are the only two levels that don't have, we, like we have some weird bonus skips that aren't that great, but those are yeah. the only two that we just don't have anything. And then this level just sucks. <laughs> I mean, like, I... Yeah, this is the level, like, yes. when you were a kid, this is the level that you just, like, either you quit well, we playing on or you just raged at. <laughs> this level is just, oh, oh. So thank you, this level. level. The nightmares. The the thank you, the Mitchell balls. Rook, for the $5 donation. Yeah, Gonna toss in another 5 bucks to compliment my 10 from earlier to get in for those coins. Put this towards that holy diver! Good luck and shout out to Funk Doc. Joshua Grant, thank you for the $10 donation. You guys are awesome. Keep on destroying these games. Put my donation towards whatever will be the most difficult or the most humiliating. Huh. I wonder why. Carl Sagan I, I I actually can't do a good Carl Sagan impression. I know that's kind of unfortunate, but I have a Carl Sagan impression. You do? It, it only saves three seconds. <laughs> uh, well, so I have. He had to get that star there because uh, he kind of uh, made a, yeah. a little mistake there. Uh, normally, we skip that star and we hit that at just the perfect time so we come back without having to use that extra star. Uh, if he had done that, he would have probably died because he would have just fallen off of the blocks. But, but it, all right. He, he donated for me to say billions and billions, so I'll still say billions and billions of swag. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not, I mean, I can't do a good impression, so that's sorry. That's like, okay, we're going we're gonna to do some YOLO strats right here. Uh, uh, okay. Oh. Oh, nice. Control the penguin at the end? Yeah, they just how put many, that yeah, penguin at the end. got trolled by the penguin. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you finally did it. Bam. <laughs> okay, so someone won either most difficult or most humiliating, so I'm going to put it towards acting out the play in Final Fantasy IX. Oh, no. Oh, oh man, so boring. Although. Shout out to the oh, Sorry. Pretty good. Yeah. We already got the DK wrap, trust okay. me, that's long done. Um, this first map is actually the only map that you really have to do anything on in terms of skiing. Watch as Carl Sagan traverses the next map. He's going to spend a lot of time if you want to just, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a second here to point out uh, Mario's cute little uh, winter cap. Yeah, <laughs> that is cute. It is very cute. It's a very nice, nice hat. Yeah. yeah. Right. One of the many small de details that goes on the game. Thank you, Robert yeah. Moser, for your $100 oh, you donation. You have the good work. I like $20 towards Batman Arkham City DLC and side quests, and $80 towards Skyrim. And <laughs> we're back! Funny thing, rolling uphill on the snow actually makes you go faster. So, we're actually, case. this is optimal. <laughs> wow. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. That was just entertaining. So this is a weird bonus skip. Uh, I run through the snow for a certain amount of time, and I jump when Yoshi's nose touches the tree to get enough slowdown from the snow. Oh yeah, so snow physics. Whenever you're in the snow, it's always like a slope. It always slows you down. Uh, so I've been doing that for a few levels now, but every time you're in the snow, uh, you want to jump as soon as possible. Thank you, DMT, for the $15 donation. Awesome cause and gameplay, guys. My baby sister was a victim of cancer, and I hope we can leave this nasty disease behind us. Thank you, James Roberts, for the $15 donation. Hey, guys and gals, thank you so much for putting the effort in to make this event happen. Having my mom going through breast cancer treatment for a second time makes this donation a no-brainer. Oh, and I'd love to see Trihex shirtless, so put my money towards that. <laughs> Done. <laughs> you, you live to please. Oh, uh, these uh, yellow platforms can be gigantic trolls, so we're going to yes. be pretty careful here. Okay. Um, you so can just like, clip off the edge of them and die. 
<laughs> yeah, they're pretty, pretty. Oh, this level this has. Sorry, go ahead. This level has so many cool enemies. Yeah, <laughs> has so many cool enemies in it that only appear in this level and, and not in any of the other ones. Like those slimes that you can that I was just stomping on over there. Uh, also, some other stuff coming up too. Purple fuzzy guy that you will never see. Yeah, there's this cool purple guy that you can just jump on and literally like ride around in order to walk on spikes. Yep, a mini chain chomp that's not going to be in any other level. Yeah. Now, you know what? If you if you want to check out the purple fuzzy guy, uh, playing or riding around on the spikes, you should donate and win your Drizzle's Super Famicom version of Yoshi's Island so you can play and find out for yourself. Thank, oh, yes. Thank you, Matthew yeah. Raptus, for the twenty-five dollar donation. Thanks for running another year of awesome games. Just as a note to everyone, if you could say this out loud during the Devil May Cry three run, it would make my year. Hello, pizza operator. There, I need. There he is. There he is. Okay, now he's gone. All right. Hello, pizza operator. I need ten boxes of crazy. <laughs> Mike Brown with a fifteen dollar donation. First time viewer here and really enjoying the stream. Donating for those Yoshi coins. Would love to see a Mega Man Legends speedrun next year. Yeah, Mega Man Legends, that'd be pretty cool. Thank you, Max Wasserman, for the fifteen dollar donation. Please put this towards playing as Grant in Castlevania Three. Josh and Murph, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Fire Mike Shanahan. Thank you, Jack White, for the $10 donation. Keep up the good work, guys. First time donating. Scablick. Thank you, Peter Schultz, for the $15 donation. Sagan! Hey, Mr. TAS, I dare you to do the lava skip. Trias can get it every time. Are you man enough? No. You know what? Carl. Carl's not going to do the 6-4 skip, so he's going to do the 5-4 skip instead, right? Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. Right. We're absolutely kidding about that. The 5-4 skip is one where you literally get a bat and you just prey on RNG luck. So this thing right here just like takes you across the entire level and it takes like two and a half minutes. Uh, you can skip it. Well, okay, but I say you can. I mean, no one's actually ever done it, but... Uh, theoretically, it's possible. Theoretically, it's possible. Triax has come really close, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can do it in the task. Um, and if, if people remember from last year's marathon, there was a nice little highlight at the end of this section. Uh, oh, eat that wall. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about, really. I, I don't, yeah. Wait, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't remember? You almost fell in the... Where you like that. nearly died? You nearly oh, died. died. Yeah, you, you oh, did, okay. and you saved yourself, but then you went into the boss room with like 23 stars, and you were just like, oh, crap. Dale Mark, <laughs> the $20 this donation. How much hey, guys. Remembers. It's good to see HDQ back again. This is only my first donation of the week, and I'm That's excited bullet, to donate man. more. I lost an aunt to ovarian cancer about five years ago, and so the charity hits close to home. Keep up the great runs and put my donation towards the NES Batman race. Jason Nicholas with a $300 donation. Thanks for doing this. Go ahead and put the money toward naming Dagger and FF9 Marina. Shout out to Mischief Makers. Oh. Nicholas Tujech. Oh, wait, sorry. Nicholas Tujech with a $15 donation. That plushie looks very delicious. I want to eat it. Please put this towards the Super Meat Boy Expert Remix levels. Thank you, Ben Forgy, with the $15 donation. This is my second live AGDQ, and it's crazy how big it's gotten over the past year. Here's hoping to get those Yoshi coins. Please put this donation towards the DK wrap, and if that's been met, which it has, put it towards Skyrim. Thanks. Merrick Walkowiak, with a $20 donation, he says very unkind things about cancer, and that is all. And Skyrim. So um, we have all sorts of cool Yoshi's Island related prizes, but just to remind you guys, we have a grand prize. We actually have two grand prizes. One being the Wii U, and second being... Oh man, this is heavy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is very... Okay, yeah, being this... Okay, I need to I need to be careful here. I'm going to behead Carl Sagan here. This is dangerous. <laughs> this really sweet gun blade with nice little... Uh, oh man. Like, yeah, it's got a little Griever keychain here. Griever chain at the bottom. It looks so good. It is so heavy because it is actually all metal. Um, <laughs> it's it terrifying. It's amazing IRL. Like, right. I'll be honest, I did not know that there would ever be something that I want so much. I know, right? It's so good. Want. Okay, um, it's dangerous here. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here. Take it this way. Yes. Thank you. Right. Right. Handle first. Stefan Tremblay. Stefan Tremblay with a $30 donation. <laughs> Thank you for this egg-cellent stream, egg-stream strats, egg-siding performances, I'm exhausted. I, I was waiting for that one, eventually that would have happened, I'm just so sad that it actually did happen. It was egg-cellent. So, it yeah. is 
possible? And I say possible, is it very difficult to hit that hard what, one shot? One shot. Yeah. I've never I've never seen anyone do one yeah. shot. I thought you were actually saying it's very hard to beat this game without making egg buns, which would have also been <laughs> <that's> also <laughs> Thank you, John DeLuna, for the $10 donation. Awesome stream. Cancer has affected almost all of us. Thanks for putting your speedrunning talents to a great cause. Jimmy Nilsson, thank you very much for your $10 donation. I love what you guys are doing. Thank you, Adam Barron, for your $10 donation. $10 for that guy to put his shirt back on. <laughs> Thanks for doing this, guys. Shout out to my friend, Backlot. How much have we donated for Triax to take shirt off? More than $10. If you, if you match it, we'll right. put if it back on. If you match on. however much we, they donated to, for him to take a shirt off, I'm sure he'll put a shirt back on for you. Is that over 900 yet? Or? Uh, it's, I, I think we stopped actually saying that. <laughs> <laughs> How about 1,000 to put it back on? Yeah, it's well beyond $600. Yeah, so, um, yeah, well, look, right, thank if you, you have the money, we would be, we would love to do it, so. Yeah. Thank you, Roman Shamalov, for your $5 donation. This one is for Bilbo and my grandma. Rest in peace. Thank you, James Ellis, for the $10 donation. Hi, all, I'd like to thank you for doing this for such a good cause. I lost my brother Alex Tolio a year ago to cancer. Good luck to everyone, and shout out to my friends from your pal, Washi. So much just rolling by. Can't, can't fly. fly. Yeah. Must roll. <laughs> All right, Mitch. Wait, hold on. Mitch Mofat with a ten dollar donation. Awesome guys, put this ten dollars to well, Trax putting his shirt back on. Whoa. Is, is there like a movement going it, on? There? Uh, oh my goodness. It could be. It's only one of two I've ever seen. Well, you never know. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. This 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 is easy-ish now. It gets much diff more difficult later on. The helicopter is notoriously hard to control because it yes. maintains its momentum so long. So if you try to turn around and stop because something's about to hit you, well, you better do it way in advance because it does not stop very fast at all. Yeah, there's another game right there. Time, basically. Thank you, Omri Gildor, for the twenty dollars donation. Hey everyone at SDA, my grandmother is a cancer survivor and I am thankful for everything you are doing. Put this money towards saving Agrippa in amnesia. Use the head for good. Thank you, Michael Haglund, with a $1 donation. Hi there, Gazros from SRL here. Since I sadly don't have much money to donate to this great cause, I figured I'd show up with some small con contributes, or, with some small contributions and mainly help raise the atmosphere instead. So first up, hi Carl, doing awesome, good luck. Put your hands together if you want to clap as we take you through this mokey rap. What? Thank you. I, I, okay. <laughs> Michael O'Reilly with a $10 donation. Hey, it's Kane, the maker of I Wanna Be The Guy. I, like many others, have lost a grandpa to cancer. Also a huge fan of the speedrunning scene. Anyway, I can donate toward Funk Doc to play the lower route in Castlevania 3. I want to see him get through that horrible block stage. If not, let's see some Holy Diver. Thank you very much, Kane. We I very much enjoy your game. Which, sadly, we will probably never see because of all the glitches. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, another Oscar level. This level has one of the best enemies slash, uh, uh, you know, ways to pass time <laughs> in the game. Yeah. You will see soon the power of the chickens. The chickens. Power portal. It's chicken time. This is what happens when speedrunning meets boredom meets auto scroll meets really cool enemies. <laughs> yes. on, on the topic of the tool assisted speedrun, this level is. Well, you can't do too much. All the levels are amazing. All the auto scrollers are very big ones in that TAS because you just get insane and. Yeah. Okay, so the auto score levels in TS, uh, just you know, like a little backstory about the TAS. Uh, the three people who are doing it, NXUI Baxter and uh, Carl here, <laughs> of the three of them, only one person likes playing the auto score levels for entertainment values or for entertainment purposes. Guess who that is? <laughs> yes. Thank, thank you, Jonathan Bond, for your thirty dollars. And it shows right here. So Lee, how yes. do you explain how the chickens work? Um, chickens like you. They like you a lot. They come back to you. <laughs> And if you throw them in a particular angle with a particular timing, they will protect you in a shield, in a Kaioken shield. Yeah. Or they'll just oh, get hit can... by a baseball. Oh, we'll get two more later. Yeah, we'll get two more later. Don't worry about it. Jonathan Barnes says, Thanks for the awesome runs for a great cause. This is for the Yoshi coins, and can I hear another one of those great Sagan chants? Oh, really? I didn't even know that. I guess not. Thank you, Anita McCreary, for the $10 <laughs> donation. 
Howdy! Cancer is a scourge upon our nation and must be crushed under tiny Yoshi feet. Put this towards whatever, make it funny. Also, keep that shirt off, dude. Okay, I can only do good two more, but yeah, definitely not the next two. Yeah. It's alright, it's alright. We have other things to do. Um, and you know what? While we're here, sitting through the auto scroller, you wanna give a shout out to Hash Yoshi? Uh, it's yours. Yes. No. Um, <laughs> yes! Oh, dude, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so like, I'm, I'm into Carl's run so hardcore right now. Um, Shout outs to everyone on hashtag Yoshi. Give me those chickens. Yeah, um, there's uh, so many people. I, I hope we don't forget anyone. Well, particularly here, like, I gotta say, unlike every other year, like, there's actually a Yoshi Island scene. Like, it's gotten crazy. Like, how many Japanese runners are into this game now? The competition's gotten fierce. We've knocked off. 40 minutes from what was considered a good 100% speedrun of this game compared to last year. Yeah. Um, with more advancements to come, really. Like. Yep, yep, yep. Um, big shout outs to Z Wing, Arn, Claro, to uh, IQ, It's Me, IX. All like we are, we have so many people coming in. I'm gonna actually look in my RC right now. I'm gonna forget people. I'm gonna feel horrible about it afterwards. Uh, also, I just want to say we've reached twenty-five thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah. wow. First day. All right. Uh, Anita McCreary, ten dollar donation. Howdy. Cancer is scorched upon our nation. Must be crushed under tiny Yoshi feet. Put this towards whatever. Make it funny. Also keep that shirt off, dude. It's right, only funny. I choose PJ's mystery game. Yes. That's pretty funny. That's gonna be yeah. awesome. That's gonna be yes. pretty funny. Andrew Jordan with a fifteen dollar donation. Another fifteen dollars for breaking my first Game Boy Advance game in half. This is really, really impressive. Enjoy enough of my money, and hopefully I'll enjoy a prize or two. Put it towards Earthbound's favorite food being cats. People, epic up there, Black Yoshi. Oh man, there's so many people. Like so we, we really, people. yeah, we can't really, you know. Yeah. There's so many people, and also, you know, big shout out to people who want to join. Um, <coughs> Garrison, uh, <laughs> and other people. There, there. You know, if you guys want to join, please just come by, drop by the RC. We're, we'd love to teach everyone. Yeah, definitely. You mentioned Thanks. it, but you haven't mentioned what the is. Oh. So how would they stop by? Uh, IRC. We just live. Yeah. Ash Yoshi. <laughs> And, uh, one more thing too is uh, so uh, Carl mentioned earlier that the world record for 100% Yoshi, Yoshi Island is a uh, 244.18. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you should, you should come and get part of the scene because there's still a lot of improvement possible. And I don't want to give you too lucrative of a, of a um, ballpark, but I would think right now we're we're gonna try to go for a sub 240. Ooh. Like sure. under two hours and 40 minutes. So um, whether it'll be a Japanese runner or an American runner, or whoever, me, Carl, whoever, um, it's part of the scene. It's gonna be pretty awesome. There's lots to look forward to. To put that in context, what was, how long did it last year's run take? Oh yeah, yeah. Just for context of improving here. Um, uh, last year was three fourteen. Yeah, last year's run was three hours and fourteen minutes. Yeah, that was considered pretty good because I yeah. was like anything under three thirty last year was considered pretty good. The world record for this game was three hours and twenty six minutes, like a year and a half ago or something. Yes, it was. <laughs> It was. So yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty. So it's it's come like go for it. Thank you, Thomas Breitenbach, for the thirteen dollar thirty six cent donation. No pressure, Carl. Just imagine what the eggs feel like as time dilates and they're in motion forever in the moment before they hit something. Shout out to Carl Sagan. Yes. Thank you, Calum Davy, for your twenty five dollar donation. Every AGDQ I've seen has had very impressive speed run shown off. Massive props to you guys. Excited about the awful Games Done Quick segment as well as the Dark Souls run. <laughs> Put my donation to do the optional bosses in Dark Souls. Alright, here we go, YOLO strats. Yeah. YOLO, Breaker Z. Oh god. Breaker Z. Oh, oh god. Yeah. That's actually right. really safe. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna lie. It's not as It looked as not as safe. Like, yeah. <laughs> also, um, looks like in, in the IRC channel, Boss Crab wanted a shout out, so, uh, Boss, Boss Crab! Crab. Boss Boss Crab. Sorry, Boss, Boss Crab. Crab. These platforms are really annoying because they eat your jumps. Like, there's literally, I just got it right there, there's literally a frame on them where you can't jump at all. So you try to jump and it just eats it and you fall off and die. Yeah. Many people playing the game casually and many speedrunners have died to these platforms. There is a consistent strat to avoid that death. But, you know, sometimes mm, sometimes you just forget or sometimes you know, bad things happen and you just have to adjust and pray for the best. Thank you, Ilya Newton now for the $50 donation. It's great how many viewers you've got. Would like this put towards the Super Meat Boy expert levels. 
That was oh, right here. 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 No, no, no that wasn't skip. He had a, I had a ping shy guy from all the way up top. Yeah. Thank you, Robert Evans Pritchard, for the $15 donation. Ruaki here. Shout out to yeah. Trihex and Carl Swaggin tearing up Yoshi's Island. Time to start Beat Hex donation. Put this towards Rayman Origins. I don't know if that's Kamikaze is here, but shout out to Raphael the Raven if he is. <laughs> Alright. Damien Lynch with a $10 donation. He says. Dear Joe, get on my level. Love, Damien. Lawrence Gokani with a $20 donation. Keep being awesome. Anonymous with a $10 donation. The most beautiful girl, Ponpo, here. Shout out to whoever donated earlier for me. Hi, NeoGaff. Little Witch plus Toa Plan Forever, Ponpo. Jeremy, you're up with a $5 donation. School starts up again tomorrow and you decide to do this to me? That is just rude. Thank you, Jonas Pamanin, for the $20 donation. Just because Yoshi's Island is an awesome game, set these 20 to FF8 for best Final Fantasy. Thank you, oh, Ruben Tarzu, for a $30 donation. Punch out, blindfolded. Keep up the good work. Yes, all of these blindfolded challenges, you want to see them. They are really, really they, impressive. If, nice. They're going to turn out a lot better than you expect. <laughs> that was a nice action. Aaron yeah, Wang with a $25 down. donation. Shout out to my fellow Super Mario World Runners. You are all doing a great thing. Garrett Blas Garrett Glassbergen with a $20 donation. 20 bucks for Violet in Final Fantasy, please. Uh, there's a pretty neat um, glitch coming up here that was discovered by one of the Japanese tool assisted speedrunners. Uh, if you run into the very far left side of fuck, I'm dying. whoops! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I might have still gotten it, but I'm not sure. The top one? I, no, I didn't get it. No. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna try, I'm just gonna try it one more time just because it's really cool. So what happens pretty much uh, when you do this normally? Uh, this is a speed run tactics, right? Is guys. you have to go through this really long track to get to the end. Uh, but if you if you clip the uh, track. It, uh, if you clip the track with the train at just the right uh, spot, you can actually go right through. Okay, I definitely got it that time. You can yeah. actually go right through the track off the side. All right, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. We're All gonna... right, we're not. We don't need the track. No. Okay, we need trains, it again. Trains, trains, they got wheels. They're good. All right, I would just like to announce uh, we've already reached over two thousand dollars on shirts. Wow. Just on, on shirts, shirts yes. On yeah, oh yeah, so guys, reminder, alright, you can buy, there will be a new shirt every day of the marathon that you guys can buy. Or if you're impatient or want to save on shipping, you can buy them all today or, you know, any day of this week. And Is just anyone a, wearing the shirt? Yeah. Yeah, is anyone wearing the shirt? Anyone? Oh, like, well, yeah, like they, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, this is the Series Type 2 t-shirt right here. This is the one that's on sale today, right? Yeah, that, yeah. So. Yeah, this will be the one that's on sale today, or if you want to buy all of them to, you know, save time, money, whatever. Feel free. These are all really awesome. Those are both. Uh, and just a few innocent reminders. We are SpeedDemosArchive.com, the premier collection of high-quality speedrun videos and knowledge. We are also many members of SpeedrunsLive.com, which is the place to go if you want to see some races live. And we are also doing this charity marathon for the Prevent Cancer Foundation, who is dedicated to research, education, community outreach, and advocacy for cancer prevention. Yeah, so yeah. there's an optimal strat that we've found, and it requires him going in the right direction. This boss is one of the biggest elements of, of RNG. By RNG, it's called Random Number Generator, which is an acronym for that, but basically just randomness. Uh, the amount of times he looks at the beginning is random. Okay, he he went the wrong direction. If he goes the other direction... Oh, good, he didn't stop. He, yeah, he didn't show me, though, so... But it's consistent after the first part. Mm -hmm. But it's one of the... This game does not have very much RNG, which makes it very fun to... Woo! Play. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes he won't do the stomp attack. Alright. Um, and now comes the bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the longest. From now till the beginning of 6 1 is the longest, longest. Donation read segment. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, why, why don't you go ahead and do it? Yeah. Joel Cox with a forty-two dollar donation. I'd just like to say hello to my girlfriend Ashley, who was watching this marathon. I love you, Ashley. Thank you, Alex Manthorpe, for the ten dollar donation. Anonymous donation. Oh. Okay. A start towards acting out the play in Final Fantasy IX from your speedrunning friends at Fortune. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Patrick Sexton with a five dollar donation. 
Blast off! That was amazing! Put this in my previous donation towards Holy Diver and those awesome Yoshi coins. Jordan Brandeburra with a $25 donation. First donation of the marathon. Good luck, guys. Garrett Glassbergen with a $20 donation. 20 bucks for Violet and Final Fantasy, please. Taylor Liebers with a $30 donation. Hi, Taylor Liebers here. Great run so far, and I would love the option to win the Wii U. I have some bad news, however, because my roommate loves this game and is watching it on my bed with me. But I guess the good news is I finally have a girl in my bed. Good luck! <laughs> Frederick Gauthier with a $50 donation. Hey guys, thank you for doing this. Been watching for a few years and I figured it was time to contribute something. My father is a cancer survivor and I hope more people will be able to say the name, will be able to say the same in the future. Please put this money towards the 00 Agent Challenge goal in GoldenEye 007 by Alex W. Anderson. Matthew Shanahan with a $20 donation. I know I won't get the Gunblade even with money withstanding, so I'll just go for that mystery game and grab bag two. As for what it goes to, F-Zero GX very hard mode. I want to see the pain I've been suffering through. I've had one of my teachers die from a cancer. I've had one of my teachers die from a cancer. My grandmother recently got diagnosed with cancer and will have surgery next month. I chipped in before, and while I know it's not much, I still want to help. Thank you very much, Mr. Shanahan. So this level upcoming oh, here is the worst really level. bad. We have just a lot of parts of the previous world, but with Kevin oh. just flying in trying to get you randomly. Yeah. It's, it's very trolling. Uh, this level. If you thought you loved skiing before. <laughs> well, so this the problem with this level <laughs> is that if you do it any percent, it's probably not even all that bad. If you do a hundred percent, this level is so weird. You have to jump at the worst times and the strangest times. That it's not. It's not at all uh, like that one there. To get that flower, you cannot jump at the end. You have to jump. You have to like avoid the ramp. You have to jump like halfway up the thing. Yeah, it's yeah. really, really bad. Oh, don't oh no! Oh. That was close. So, so yeah. Question, because I think I missed it. Is it even possible to miss the key and not be able to get in that door at that point? I heard the checkpoint. If you didn't get it, yeah. Probably yeah. Just go back. You gotta go think back. Your mm. So uh, I want to make a donation. I don't know if people donated for try to be shirtless, but I think it's become like too common and tired. And I just want to donate ten dollars for Trix to put his shirt back on. <laughs> it has become a movement. Wow. Yeah, that, that's like a yeah. thirty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, like yeah, another <laughs> cool jump. <laughs> he jumped like halfway up the ramp there, and he got the flower on his way down. Normally, you have to. It looks like you collect that flower that the skis ran into, but normally you don't. Also, this is one of the scariest sections. Yeah, this is terrifying. Yeah, this, this section is terrifying. We're telling you, we're not gonna go before about how bad the helicopters change direction. Okay, so we're gonna. There we go. Oh, oh my God! All right, we're, we're good. good. Wait, wait. Oh, oh. he can still it. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Sometimes he just, while you're transforming, you have no control over Yoshi, and he can just run into you and hit you. Yeah. Uh, the bonus skip there is running through the snow. snow, and that just conveniently worked out perfectly. All right. Thank you, Juan Barrera, for the $50 donation. This is kind of an interesting one. Put this $50 towards whatever the fourth donator after myself chooses. Enjoying the run so far. Hooray for doing things in games the creators never intended. Okay, now here's where it gets a little more interesting. The fourth donator didn't donate towards anything. So, should we go with number three or number five? Number six. Door six. Door six. Door six. Door six. Oh, what do you do? I put a turn measurement card and give it some love. Gotcha. Alright, now is where <laughs> the game definitely starts to get a little bit harder. Uh, cool, thing about these, cool thing about these guys is you can, even though they have shields and you can't normally tongue okay. them from the front, if you use an up tongue, it actually just goes right through and you can. So, door number six was maximum carnage. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> sounds good. Um, yeah, I like how Carl says, uh, this is where the game gets harder and immediately gets hit. That was, uh... Couldn't have planned that any better. <laughs> yeah. He was just showcasing, because he didn't have more than 10 stars yet, uh, so he could, could just get I couldn't, it. couldn't hear that coin. Okay. Yeah, no, you oh, okay. I was like, a little puzzle. Thank you, Benjamin Friesen, for the $15 donation. Love the Yoshi Island speedrun. Put my money toward the winning the game. Yeah, toward winning the game. Thank you, Clifford Leiter, for the $100 donation. Hey guys, been watching the stream ever since it started, and since it's been so awesome, I figured I'd donate again. So let's put $40 in Super Mario RPG file name. Whoa. That's close. Oxwiss. And $60 on door six. <laughs> well. Oh yeah. Yes, you do. Wow. Need to door six, Super the Mario ever popular. RPG so, so these chomps, these chomp rocks lag the game a lot, uh, which can make it very, very precarious jumping through there because if it lags at the wrong time when you're pushing down jump, you might not jump at the time that you thought. Yeah. You can miss a jump entirely and die. Um, even more trolly is Hold if on. you. Okay, 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 I had to hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had to hear that too. 
even more trolly is that if you like lag the game or if you sprite overload the game and you have the chomp rocks, sometimes they'll even go sideways, which is completely unintended, but also. Okay, I heard that. Okay. Yeah, thank you. There you go. But also very uh, hilarious, but terrifying. David Sonnenberg with a $25 donation. Good luck to all the runners that put this towards Skyrim. James Simpson with a $25 donation. I've got no experience around cancer, so this is to ensure that stays so. Kyle Doubt with a $15 donation. Hey guys, awesome work. I lost my mother to cancer when I was little, and seeing so many people do so do such awesome things for cancer research is an amazing sight. Keep up the mad skills and please put this towards the extra bosses in Dark Souls. Thank you very much, Kyle. That has been met, by the way. Oh, congratulations. Dark Souls has been met. Cool. Um, that'll be cool. Yeah, Twitch, we just got tweeted by Twitch for reaching 25k, so thanks, really? Twitch. Really? Nice. Oh, thank you very much, Twitch yeah. Cops. Uh, actually, everyone, if you guys want to promote us more, we're not going to say no. Please do. <laughs> tell your friends. Yes, tell your friends, tell everyone. Tell your rich Poxnor neighbors. <laughs> Poxnor isn't even rich, he's just an awesome guy. He is an awesome guy, it's true. Speeddemosarchive.com? Yes, why not? Tweet to your friends. Speeddemosarchive.com, ladies and gentlemen. It's a really good way to help us out if you can't. I wasn't sure if you wanted me to say Chevy Chase Maryland or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're there. Yeah. All right, Matthew Moffat with a five dollar donation. Trihex put his shirt back on? Never. Yo, Mirrod, I see you back there. Give the Trihex bro a fizzle. Much love from MC Gamer. Put this towards Little Cosmo as the Wind Waker file name. By the way, check out this red. I think it's a bro. I love that. I love that. With beer? With beer? Kind of fist that kind of slowly breaks and something slowly breaks. Should we try it again? Let's go. Ryan Ma with a $25 donation. Cancer has really messed up too many lives. Here's to more donations for great runners playing great games. P.S. Yeah, $25 for Virgil from Devil May Cry 3. So I skipped the star at the okay, I skipped the star at the end there. Normally you're supposed to be Baby Mario for a little bit longer. This is a really weird bonus skip. It's basically flutter over the spikes, pray that you get the bonus skip. Yeah. Uh, because this <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if your prayers are answered. Yes. I, th I think they're gonna be answered. Yeah! They are answered. Alright. Aaron close, Ransom though. with a ten dollar donation. Here's to all the peace with cancer and to all the members of the Tribune watching. <laughs> oh, this is a familiar name. Dex, $250 donation. Woo, People that read the main page know I lost my dad to stomach cancer. So, in his memory, a donation. First of many this year, I hope. Keep up the good work, guys and gals. We may post the speedruns on the main page, but you're the ones making them, and you're the ones making this possible. And keep that shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Dex knows. Thank you very much, Dex. Dex knows where it's at. <laughs> Matthew Beach with a $25 donation. I'm a huge fan of live commentary for speedruns. Keep it up. Three Yoshi's Island. Uh, I think it's a part of the, the West End sign doesn't even show up in the tracker. Oh, so, okay. Chip, yeah, Chip and Eats, the West End. Okay, whenever I saw the three, I thought it was referring to the fact that there were three people on the couch. Oh, <laughs> well, it could, it could be. It. Yeah, sure. That's <laughs> it. That's it. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll I didn't touch it. any fuzzies. Sorry, I didn't touch any fuzzies. Go back. Just touch. <laughs> touch fuzzies earlier. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, reset. Just, just reset. We need to touch the fuzzies. <laughs> Carl is addicted to fuzzies. Oh. Uh, Matthew Sebastian with a $30 donation. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see it. That really explains a lot. Cancer is taking my grandfather away as we speak, so keep being amazing, you guys. Donation towards 100%. Thank you, Matthew. Oh, wow! Mm. I don't think I got the bonus kit. Let's see. Whatever, that was so cool. Yeah. World Thank you, is Jackson. Glorious for having the hardest. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth it just for that. Right. Thank, Thank you, me. Jackson Pritchett, for your five dollar donation. Woo! This right, hope so will be the first of several donations, <laughs> budget permitting. My dad is struggling with prostate cancer right now, so this is to keep anyone else from having to deal with the same hardships. If you guys are playing Majora's Mask, I totally put this toward naming the character Ben. But as it is, put it toward 100% Goldeneye 00 agent. Also, can I get a yee Question mark. Yee-haw? yee Yeehaw. <laughs> and finally, Cody Burrow with a $10 donation. Soviet Sovietu here. Put this money towards the extra bosses in Dark Souls, which has been met. Praise the sun. Alright, so... 
also um, you know, to do 6 4 here? Or um, what's the great crowd this level? 6 4 is the level that Carl is still a granny on. <laughs> right. This no, one, no. Uh, Six four is, uh, is a level that that um is has been super optimized this year, uh, and Carl Sagan has definitely been a huge part of doing that kind of thing. Also Z Wing as well and Triax. Um, the, one of the biggest optimizations coming up right here, the Blob fight. This Blob trolls so hard if you don't get him the right way. Yeah. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. I jump off of the slime, run to the right side of the wall, come back, jump up here, and that pattern makes him go into the corner. When he goes into the corner, you can just give him the massive attack with eggs. He's dead. Give him the. Attack. He's dead, by the way. You, oh, yeah, I know you can't oh, tell. Oh, oh, so, so, so Carl, I hear this game doesn't have a lot of lag. In it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the thing was, Carl was missing uh, tassing. He was like, I, I can't run this anymore. I got tasses, so he has to. Slow it down a bit. Get that frame advance. <laughs> Look, at, Look the at the hat. The hat. So good. It's the only yeah, door the in the game that you, that Mario's hat just I have no idea why. Yeah, Mario's trying to do a little head banging. Just you now. Oh. Yeah, this basic uh, niche techniques right here. Tonguing in the air without losing speed. What we mentioned. Christopher Lauterbach with a $25 donation. Hey everyone, great run so far, especially Yoshi's Island. Doing your best to prevent cancer. Please put this $25 for everyone to take their shirts off. Yes, I do like to play a very dangerous game. See, this is why we can't have good things. <laughs> That's like $6,000. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Andrew Rocky with a $100 donation. Hey guys, enjoying the marathon so far. Yoshi's Island is always a pleasure to watch. Put this towards original Rayman. I am not giving up hope. And just to put that in perspective, uh, Rayman Origins is at $530 right now. Rayman is at $315. So you can use one of the you can use a big flutter off of that guy followed up with something that I didn't someone else explain. <laughs> a perfect flutter. A per perfect flutter here. Uh, Gain one pixel of height to go over this really tall uh, wall here. By going over this wall, it, it will skip. Uh, uh, Carl's has to get this other key by defeating this other um, slava oh bomb God. that you saw us uh, kill really quickly earlier. So it saves like easily over a minute. There we go. Yeah, you normally have to get another key by yeah defeating another blob. That is not an easy trick to pull off. Yeah, the, the issue is using a perfect flutter while not being able to see you so, very well. Yeah. When, when we say perfect flutter, again, we just mean... Hello, Log. You my best friend. Explain it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Since we have time. Um, I know I probably hyped uh, the, the lava skip the last two years, but uh, one thing I was completely ignorant to is that it only saves three seconds. But I mean, it's so intense to do, to like, flutter across 17 times, losing less than half your height. That I just assumed that you saved a lot of time doing it. But uh, Carl with all his math and whatnot, figured out that it... Yeah, science ruining everything. Yeah, science kills Something about the cosmos. So he rides a lot of shame, which is faster. Well, not faster, but like, way safer. Mm -hmm. So this boss fight is, is can be pretty difficult. Uh, normally, but there's actually a really easy strat, yeah. uh, as long as you have Jesus. enough eggs, where you just throw eggs at him and he falls over and dies. If you neutral egg. Or he doesn't if you don't have the right amount of eggs! Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, good. <laughs> if you have enough eggs, if you just do the all the neutral shots, he'll just fall in. And... Oh, oh, yeah. a little, a little. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that gives uh, no. no. Right. That Thank you, uh, <coughs> Darren Alton, for your $15 donation. You died. <laughs> that looked cool. I think you died. No, 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 no. I don't think you died. Oh, you did? I didn't die. Oh, it was the previous year? The previous year. The wings on our question mark clouds, the masts on our shy guys, the teeth in our piranha plants, the seeds in our melons were made in the interiors of collapsing stars. We are made of star stuff, provided that we are hit by red eggs. <laughs> AGDQ, awesome as always this year. Put this toward all trinkets and blah, 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 blah. That's an awesome quote. Yes. This is ah. the very long How long is it? Oh, it's actually oh, it's short. Short. Um, Lee, without looking at the title, how many O's are in long? Today? It's six O's. That's not. Thank you. <laughs> we have time to read those O's. No, but um, it's actually not as long as you think. So the fun part about this cave is that it's actually, it loops in on itself. So yeah. it's longer than it 
uh, or it seems longer than it actually is. If it was a, just a free level where we could run around, we would actually just run to the end and then be like, ah, well, that was, that was easy. Yeah, so I'll actually show you. It's, it's pretty cool uh, map design, I guess. Uh, I don't know, I think it was a way to make a map seem longer than the hardware could really uh, allow, allow for, for at the yeah. time. Yeah, so I'll show you. Basically, uh, if you look at one of the maps, like if you go to vgmaps.com and look at this, you'll see what I mean. I'll try to explain it when we get there, though. But first, we should just look at this egg shop because it's really cool. Bounces up that ricochet, hits that, hits the star cloud. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, map, you need one screen, not the entire level. So, like, right here, see how, like, see this path right here? Uh, you'll, you'll literally come back to that. So yeah, we're going to literally come back to that exact same spot that I was just at uh, as the level loops around. But most people don't really notice that when they're playing the game. Yeah. Honestly, I, I, I hope, I pray. You don't? Oh, wait, I don't? You can miss those red coin strikes and get them on the way back. Yeah. What? No joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, so see, Jax um, in here, no. Yeah, I really hope that one day we can find a way to like break that little like loop sequence and just like go. For the any percent, anyways, 100 percent, we still need some of these coins. Yeah. But for the any percent, really hoping that we can break that sequence. That would be amazing. Carlos Matos with a ten dollar donation. <clears throat> My aunt died of cancer, and I felt I should put some money to this great cause. I love Yoshi's Island, and don't know what else to say since Carl is almost done. Thank you very much for your donation, Carlos. Thank you, Remy Kraus, for the ten dollar donation. Hey all, love the run. Put the donation towards the Yoshi coins. Hope I win something this year, as I didn't receive my prize last year. Also, say bean dip. That would be the best prize. Wait. Okay. Bean dip. I believe that's the DK ramp thing. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. And you don't have to donate specifically for the coins. Yeah. Yeah. Donate during the run. Yes. Actually, someone like fifty bucks. Yes. Yes. Thank you, uh, Jeff Kleinschmidt, for the twenty dollar donation. First time watcher, first time donator. If someone is willing to donate ten dollars for Trihex to put your back on, I'm donating twenty dollars to keep it off. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to thank all of you for bringing in the time to put on such a show, this supporting a an important so, cause. So this area right here is actually the previous level. When I hit the star cloud with that cool egg shot, that was on top of yeah, this area right here. Does this look a little familiar uh, right here? This part this down here is where right here. is yeah. where I just went down previously. Except now the right side is opened up. So uh, I'm actually you actually just going to this a little different part of the same level. Optical illusion by. Uh, Nintendo. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff <laughs> for the twenty-five dollar donation. Thanks for all the good work you guys are doing. Keep it up. Thank so, you, Ryan Myers, for this, the fifty dollar donation. This is the scariest part of the entire run for me because oh, if you die right there, you yeah. lose. Okay, you have so to do the whole auto scroll really, again. The rocks are really weird. They like have their own personal gravity or something like that, so that when you jump on them, when you land on them, they your feet, throw you. Yoshi will like your feet will stick to the rocks. You're like forced to run on them a little bit, and then they throw you off, and you're suddenly dead. It's, it's not that it's that difficult of a section or anything, but you lose five minutes or something if you die right there. <laughs> it's yeah. it's just that's harsh, saddening. Yeah. Ryan Myers with a fifty dollar donation. I think so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, as long as point like it's time. dangerous. It's yeah. dangerous. There are longer sections, but they're like like all of five six is the first auto scroll section is longer, but it's, you're not gonna die. Maybe. Ryan Myers with fifty dollar donation. The S in Sagan is for sexy. Yoshi coins and Trihex keeping the shirt off. Sexy Sagan. Yes. Sorry, how could I forget? His awesome hair. That was. Oh yeah, his. Thank you, Paul Dune, for the fifteen dollar donation. Stumbled off this event by accident and love what you guys are doing. Not sure how it works, but I'd like to place this bid for Goldeneye difficulty increase. Keep up the good work, guys. Thank you, Roman Shamalov, for the $45 donation. This one is from the X Gym in Brooklyn. You guys are doing a beautiful thing. Good luck. Thank you, Raymond Durkowski, for the $5 donation. $5 plus $5 from my older donation for Ron's got to do Yoko and friends, only because Ron percent and so isn't a donation incentive. It's unfortunately no ROM percent this year. Okay, there's a pretty big trick coming out right now. The end of the level is actually an auto-scroller as well. Um, but kind of like the 1E thing, you can skip the auto-scroll if you get a one-frame jump off of this. So I have one sixtieth of a second. There's a window that I can jump off of this corner here. If I jump off of that, it, somebody else can okay, do this. Okay, so oh, you, almost, you almost triggered it. Um, so there's the trigger for the auto-scroll is actually above the Dang screen it. here. And when you jump, when you jump on that, you see how the screen scrolls up like that. So when the screen scrolls up, the trigger actually loads, right? There we go. Okay, there we go. By doing this jump, 
the, you keep the screen down, the trigger never loads, and we just skip the, uh, so the auto scroll never starts. It was thought for a long time that you had to just jump completely over it, right? That used to be the way to do it. Uh, no, we never had to jump completely over it, but there is, okay, so it's wow. a little weird based on how, um, it's based on exactly where Yoshi lands, and this is, this is also some crazy stuff. I mean, but the long and short of it is, you get to do the section a little more worry-free. That last bit is terrifying to do if you're doing it as an auto-scroller. Yeah, could that rock have actually crushed you? Yes. Yes. That was more crazy. dangerous is that that rock, remember how I said the rock has like a little gravity to itself? Uh -huh. That rock falls down, goes in the hole, and just holds you with it. Huh. <laughs> you're just dead. I'm, uh, that's terrifying. Thank you, Brett, Wa Brett Wells, for the $10 donation. Awesome entertainment so far. Put this towards naming Steiner Violet in Final Fantasy IX. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you, Philip Godlewski, for the five dollar donation. PSA: Support the Galkin Kickstarter. It's an awesome game. Put this towards Final Fantasy name Violet. Team Liquid. White Ting. Right. All right. So we got a huge. Yeah. You want to explain? Right, sure. Yeah. This is this is one of my favorite tricks as well. Uh, so Yoshi's tongue goes through things as long as he's moving. So. When you jump into this rock, it pushes Yoshi to the side. You can use that to push the tongue into the wall. And when you push the tongue into the wall, you can actually grab the key through the wall. Yep. Yeah. And it saves a fair chunk of time. There's quite a bit of time. A lot of time, yeah. Because always you have to run through an entire section to do that first one. <laughs> the way that trick works is pretty cool, too. Yeah. And you can accidentally push the key far through away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Luke. Some, <laughs> some people, some some people, people have done that. Some people, we're not gonna name names or anything. Hey, I've got it. So I gave him a hard time. Sorry, Trey. <laughs> the longest time you've been trying to make a star. Because it gives you 30. Yeah, it gives you stars. I guess you do it your way too, but I mean. Yeah. So for the longest time, we tried to just make those super hard shots, and then we're just like, why don't we just jump up there? So yeah, sometimes speedrunners um, miss the obvious things. Yeah. You make things overcomplicated. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Why can't we just shoot it? Oh, we could just go up there. I did not know that until I saw the Japanese one after that. I promise you I didn't know that. First one. Mm. <laughs> you are really good at this. I'm just listening to the key, the cave theme. I'm just like, man, this is really good music. It's very playful music, which oh, yeah. is why it's, yeah. the it's melodies are very unfortunately good. very limited. Yeah, the only six tracks. Or I always yeah, notice that in the tracks. long game from Curl, they're trying one. to play along with the jumps. Yeah. Yes. That's always a fun section. Uh, auto scrollers make us musically inclined. <laughs> Pretty good. And so that uh, that bonus skip was. Is one of the riskier ones, or is it's one of the more uh, variable ones? We're not sure whether or not we can get it or not, but I think we got a good setup for it. You just stand at a certain place, scroll the screen a certain way, and then just run and jump at a specified place. At I'm actually just lining the screen up with the background textures. It is pretty yeah. consistent. Yeah. Uh, do just real quick before the uh, before the run ends, guys. We've got Yoshi plushie. Yoshi coins, in this case, lovely oh, this is, this is There we go. Yoshi coins in this lovely case. Uh, Yoshi parlor. Uh, 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 this thing is. Uh, I always feel like I'm gonna break it. <laughs> and of course, Yoshi cartridge. This is a Japanese version of the Super Famicom version of Yoshi's Island. Uh, win it and. Be your own Carl Sagan. <laughs> Thank you very it's much, like Miss Florian, for your $5 donation. I'm going to donate another $5 if you manage to speak my full name correctly. Well, I wish I could take you up on that challenge, if not for the fact that your last name's letters were corrupted on the donation tracker. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Adam Whitford, for the $20 donation. Ayo, hey love what you guys are doing. 
My dad had survived leukemia, so I know how frightening knowing someone with cancer should be. Or could be. For funsies, I'm putting this towards everyone being shirtless. Need more shirtless men. <laughs> and thank you, Michael Boyce, for the $50 donation. Ten months ago, I lost the greatest person in my life to cancer. My mother. This needs to end. I'll leave you all what she would always end her text message with her text messages with as I think it applies. Be inspired. Thank you very much for your kind words, Michael. Uh, a couple of quick things. Uh, we broke 21,000 viewers. Uh, oh, so wow. we, we are the highest single channel on Twitch right now. Oh, nice. Wow. Eat that. Yeah, that's that's, that's a <laughs> You guys, man. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. And for the record, this is just day one. Yes. Yeah, this is day one, guys. We have so going until time. We have until Saturday, guys. So, uh, yeah, just stay tuned. We've got and so what's much our, stuff. What's our total so far? Uh, twenty-seven thousand five hundred dollars, give or take. That's a quarter of our. That's a of what we. Oh wow! We have a fine tradition of lowballing our. Yeah, we have a fine tradition of being bad with estimates, so... I, being conservative with estimates, yeah. we'll call it. By the way, if you look at the background of this map, uh, you, you can kind of tell that... I mean, a lot of the backgrounds of this game are really cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure this Art one was inspired? In, was inspired by Starry Night. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. Well, it's kind of like it, yeah. Yeah. You can see it better once we get into this next The game's area. art style overall is designed as a storybook. Yeah, it's fantastic. Very well. Story, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that game doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, that's not a real game. Yeah. What's the? Yeah. Talking about? I don't, I don't know. I, yeah. I just said something. You, know, the you said words. <laughs> yeah. Please make your decisions. You said words that made no sense to me. Just ignore it. Die, bandits. Getting my revenge while I can. Oh, what? Uh, there's a pretty neat. This is the bandit. Yeah, first let's do that. First let's do that. Bandit troll? Yeah, get out of here. I hope not. Oh! There we go. Alright. Okay, there's a pretty neat thing coming up here. Normally you do gate hacks by spitting an egg, but for this particular one you can't do it. Uh, however, someone figured out that you can. Ooh, glad I checked that. Yeah. Okay, what's oh. gonna. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, back oh. is interesting. Oh, in that you did it. Yeah, yeah, sorry. On the first try, and then if it doesn't work on the first try, it will never work. Like the, the pot on the gate, right? That's just the right one. Yeah. The way, yeah, the reason that the pot can open the gate is you grab it while it's moving to the left, uh, and it kind of retains that leftward momentum when you spit it out, so the gate sees something coming from the opposite direction when you spit it into it, which causes the gate to open. <laughs> okay, how about that? Swag and yeah. Jesse Holm, thank you very, very much for your $1,000 donation. Wow. wow! Wow! Hey, guys. Oh. Hey guys, first time watching and I have to say this cause is amazing. My friend recently lost his mother to a rough bout of cancer and since I never really had a mother growing, I had to steal his. We miss you, Jam. To everyone who's dealing with cancer in some form, tell the person that you love them. Tomorrow is promised to no one, so live it up while you've got it. Game on, fellas. Put the money to whatever you need to. That is very whatever generous of you, Jesse. Thank to. you. Um, <laughs> We don't need people's shirts off. I'm so sorry don't to suggest it. Are you sure? <laughs> I think we need to pull shirts no, off. No, no, I'll vote against that. I will. I will make an executive decision to. What? <laughs> to hey. Duct tape his mouth. It's <laughs> uh, a valid. Well, what Wait, yeah. What can you even knock it off? Well, there's a lot of things that it could go to. I mean, it's. Uh, I have a ton of donations, and it's still coming up. Are there any coming up? Yeah. 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 Or like games that we could add? Um, I think we. Uh, there's we plenty of games that we could add. Yeah. More Die Hard. Yes. Everything. Uh, did I hear everything die hard? Yes. Is that what I heard? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Oh, don't don't encourage me. I, I, I want to go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's so dangerous. There's the rain. The next thing is the yeah. Rayman bidding war at nine. Well, that would be. That's a bit. Is there a challenge that we can? I'm looking. Um. There's a oh, soundtrack yes. bidding war for Sonic CD. Well, no, no sort of bidding wars. Yeah, challenges. Yes. Uh, challenges. Uh, well, let's see here. There's a bunch of games. There's everything in Arkham City. Um, uh, like it's very subjective. We would have to. I don't know. It's a very generous donation. It's kind of a weird thing to just give. Like, everyone. Yeah, I feel bad. Yeah. I'd rather ask you if you can split it between multiple things. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, 
I'm mad about using this. <laughs> We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll yeah. figure it out. There, there is, Give there, us a moment to think. We've got plenty of time to figure it out. So yes. Yeah. We are stunned by your very generous donation. But thank you very, yes. very, very wow. much. Wow. Yes. Um, you made a speech hmm. generous. Yeah, <laughs> Holm, uh, Mr. Holm, if you have a any sort of um, preference as to who makes that decision or what sort of things you want to see, like do you want to see more games? Uh, do you want to see some sort of a goal met with an existing game? Like any sort of hint, uh, we'd greatly appreciate it. We want to make sure that you get your thousand dollars worth. Yes, please. Or even to like name a character Jan. That's cool too. Yeah. Yeah. If you could PM or give like a dollar donation or something, trust me, we'll look for your name. Yeah. Uh, PM SDA Marathon. Okay. On uh, a completely unrelated note, Kevin Pham donates eight ninety five and asks, "When's Marvel?" <laughs> It was obligatory at some point, my friend. You'll see. So baby Bowser has been has been really bad. He's been a really bad baby. He's bad. He's been a bad baby. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to give him we're gonna have to give him give him some time. We gotta give him the attack. Oh. Or I'm gonna. Or we gotta. Go. We gotta get hit. Aside. Oh, that's just that's okay though because we can let him ride me around for a little bit, which is pretty cool. Baby so, Bowser's got places to be. Look at how happy he is when he rides like, Look at that. I, I've this never is, seen him so this happy. This is what should have been right here. <laughs> See, why, why you gotta be such a hater? You know, should be promoting happiness instead of killing him. <laughs> That's really... See ya, baby right. Mario. Philip Leon Hart with a fifteen dollar donation. Here's my first fifteen dollars. Hoping to start a streaming channel where I'll try to run Mel Slug. Shouts to Mikuyama. <laughs> Steven Bates with a $100 donation. Thanks for the stream. Please donate towards Skyrim. Nice. Is that Peach's Yeah. Oh, it's Peach's? Yeah. Alright, very cool. Thanks, Peach's. Oh! Reset. Reset. Carl. Last second. That butt is so on tongue. <laughs> I, oh. I'm lacking a tongue there. <laughs> well, okay. Let's put that disappointment aside and just enjoy this sweet music. Can I just pump up all yeah, real you quick can, here? No, 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 Okay, it's okay. Please. This music is too good. Actually, they were happy about the music. <laughs> <laughs> a few of them are probably still covering. They had the headphones on. Yeah, about the setup. My bad. So, yeah, Carl, like you can make the eggs fall faster when you're standing still, right? Yeah, I actually, you actually don't want to move too much uh, because when you scroll the screen, uh, it actually makes uh, these eggs that I'm grabbing, these huge ones, uh, not spawn. <laughs> So is there a point where you just can't hit him because he's so far away, or is it only? Yeah, but he's not that far away right now. Uh, this this can be pretty hard to aim these eggs though, uh, as he's because moving. because as he, there's a, a, sometimes a very small window, uh, and when he's moving at you, that window is constantly changing. So like right now, he's at the point where he's really far away and he's really dead, and now he's moving. But he might he should just move into that one. Okay, but that one's not gonna hit. That's gonna be too short. Yeah, it is not time. Um, so, the one thing that makes me really sad about the 100% run yeah, is that you never get to hear the ending theme song. So, who, for anybody who plays this as a kid, when he runs at you, it's pretty scary. Okay, so I'm resetting right there uh, on purpose because the only way to do the final level, the six extra, right, just hold start and does this as fast as possible. Uh, any, um, the only way to do this extra level is to reset because normally it plays the credits and the credits just stay there forever and they're wonderful credits and I'm really sorry that we couldn't show them. Oh. It's one of my favorite themes in the game. Yes. That's a very, cool very trick. Right yeah, there. that's a really cool trick. Yes. Yes. Never seen that one before. That's another off-screen ghost shot right there at the end. I run back twice there to make this guy spit out a shot guy faster. Or it's time when you hit the ray, right? Uh, it depends if he has a bonus or not. Uh, no, it's it's time when the card flips at the very end, saying that I got the uh, saying that I got a hundred on it. Yeah. 
No, 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 Thank you, Christopher Rowald, for your forty dollars donation. What's up, SDA? Love all you have done as well as appreciate all the great entertainment you provide me all year round. I remember watching Cool Pex, I mean Try Hex, <laughs> <laughs> playing Yoshi's Island last year and being flabbergasted to the point of envy. This game is a very special place in my heart because some of my fondest memories of, are of playing it with my mom. Yoshi. And Sagan, thanks for showing me I've been doing it wrong all these years. <laughs> hey, as long as you're playing the game, you're doing it right. Yeah. Totally. Here's to the end of Cancer, as well as those coins and the gun blade. Put the donation toward the mystery game. I must know. The world must know, Christopher. The world must know. We, we all must know. We all know. We don't even know. Um, yeah, a lot yeah, of us we don't know. know. But um, if you guys know PJ and Mr. K, and even if you don't know PJ and Mr. K, just take our word for it, their mystery game is going to be fantastic. Yeah, this particular level, um, is, I don't know why they actually did things the way they did, because a lot of the level, holding down is the best strap. Yeah. Right there, holding I don't down know the best strap. Right here, holding down. I'm not sure if they also the best strap. Yeah. To just do hey that. guys, thanks for... Uh, Lewis Clark with the $20 donation. Hey guys, thanks for hosting such an awesome event. What you're yeah, doing right is here. for such a great cause, and I hope you're all having as much fun playing as I am watching. Can my $20 be for the Zelda Wind Waker file named Franker Z? Thanks. No. Yes, it can be. That's gonna be a thing. Isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be a thing. Oxnor, please help us. Thank you, Arter Frank, for your $15 donation. The money goes to Runner's Choice. Also, shouts to the SNW Racing Community. How much is that for Runner's Choice? $15. Was that scary? On the great stuff. Alright, yeah, those are arm strips. Shout out to Arm for that skip. Match. Please don't do. <laughs> not match cards? Not match cards. Yeah, if it's not match cards, that would be nice. Thank you, Nicholas White, for the $30 donation. From all match of us. Cards! Get those yeah, lives! This is, well, this is not uh, the slowest anymore. We figured out a way to make this slightly faster, so this is the second slowest one. Mm, yeah, well, it's the second. 25 so, seconds oh, instead of 30. The other week was actually on pace for a world record. Missed the world record was going for personal best, and then this happened on this very level, right at the end, so... Yeah. Yeah, so if Carl is off his personal best by three seconds again... Was it really that close? Yes. I don't know. It was oh, the longest and... number. Time. Time. 2.48.54. What was it? 248.54. 248.54, okay. <laughs> 22,000 people got to see you playing match cards. <laughs> that was, so that was um, 26 minutes faster than last year? Yeah. Thank you, Nicholas White, for your $30 donation. From all of us in the Tribune on Guild Wars 2, love what you guys are doing. Thank you, Lewis Clark, for the 20... Oh, never mind. Alright, cool. What's your personal best at this game? 245.28. Three minutes off. Um, they're, like, death, death. Thank you, Leona Liskey, for the $20 donation. Remember I died? Yeah. I just discovered you guys, and I can't stop watching. This is such a great cause, and I hope you guys reach your goal. Also, I really want to see Blindfolded Sonic run. Thank you, T Taylor Rigby, for the $50 donation. Keep it up, guys. Thank you, Adam Burns, for the $5 donation. Blood for the Blood God, and also $5 to Skyrim. And I don't know who the nice man in the yellow shirt is, but hi, nice man. Congrats, Carl. That was really, really good. Yeah, that was really good. Also, Carl, I'm really glad that you yeah. continue the tradition. Thank you, Danny Rose, for the $20 swag. donation. It's incredible to see <laughs> dedication to a good cause and a joy to watch every year. Put my Thank donation to us, punch out blindfolded. Please, please. keep donating. Yeah. Thank you, Brian Schroeder, for the $15 donations. Great work, keep it up. Put this towards naming Steiner as Violet, FF9. Well done, Carl. Good, well done. Thanks for keeping up the comment Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Man with the golden voice. Yeah, thank you. Alright, good shit, Chirex. It's always always good for you raising money with the with the shirt. <laughs> yeah, they reacted quite. Oh, that's gonna be great. Yeah, tell them what we're gonna um we're gonna unveil those customers. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, 
Oh. Are you going to use the chair or the couch? Alright.